all the time we were apart of each other's lives heart to heart so I had a late arrival so we never saw the start of each other's lives dude this song is so fucking fire a bit late Joe yeah I'm six minutes late hello everybody flooding in how is everybody doing on this fan-fucking-tastic Friday chat? It's a react day. Well, actually, it's two different days. God damn it, I can't fucking unscrew this. All right, there we go. Bristow for the sub and Reverb for the 600 biddies. Said, so glad to catch a BART stream before I head off to Cabo at 1 a.m. today. Uh, super excited for a week away from social media and stress. Uh, I hope you have fun, bro. Uh, congrats on the vacay, and I'm glad that you're tuning into the stream before you leave. Demolish Elite and read for the fucking sub. Chat. Big poll here, okay? It's a react day. Everybody knows it's Friday, Friday react day. We got a bunch of videos we're fucking reacting to, as per usual, right? Okay? Second thing, this is where I need to ask you guys a question. Do we attend the Fortnite Kid Leroy concert? It's at 6 p.m. EST. It's in two hours. Or it's in an hour and a half. Could my mods do a poll on whether or not we attend? Now, here's the thing. I, we're gonna, the general, if we do attend the Fortnite Kid Leroy concert, the general plan is to run reactions until fucking goddamn five minutes before it starts. Okay? Then we would run into the Fortnite Kid Leroy concert. You know, maybe do a little Fortnite dance, and then we would leave. Okay, we would. We how long is the concert, right? If it's a half hour, I'm definitely attending, right? If it's an hour and a half, fuck that shit. Well, how about this, chat? We attend it. If it blows dick, we just leave. That makes sense to me, right? Like it, it's a two-hour concert. You're bugging, bro. It's not a two-hour concert. Every Fortnite concert's like 30 minutes, maybe. Like, dude, there's no shot. It's fucking, how, bro, how long is the Kid Leroy concert Fortnite? No way I'm Googling this. Event start time, bro. They got goddamn articles about this. Imagine being Jake Green, the man from Eurogamer who wrote a three-page article on when the fucking Kid Leroy concert's starting. W. Jake Green. Probably hates his job. Anyways. <laughs> like, I would not want to write a dumbass article about this. Like, he literally wrote a three-page article on the Kid Leroy concert and the items that you could receive. And the island code? What the fuck? There's an after party for the Kid Leroy concert? Jesus Christ. That sounds so sad. I know men, too, for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you for the 10 fucking gifties, bro. Big dub in the chat for that. I know men, too. Thank them if you got a sub, and thank you for the fucking 10 gifteds, bro. Demolish Elite and Reed for the sub. RJ, Little Fish, May, F1, JS, and Fizzy for the sub. RJ for the 300 bitties. Uh, I start at 5 a.m. Dude, you start work at 5 a.m. That fucking blows. Mr. Yo-Yo for the 300 bits says Mike Oxlong. <laughs> You're fucking hilarious, pal. Anyways. Do we attend the concert? 76% are saying yes. We'll get there when we get there. How about this? We're going to run reactions for the next hour, hour or so, okay? 10 minutes before the concert starts, I might launch Fortnite, you know? I might tune into the Kid Leroy concert. I might catch the vibes. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll weigh the vibes out, you know? If it's bad, it's bad. If it's good, it's good. I don't really even fuck with Kid Leroy that much. But, you know, it's a Fortnite concert. It's pretty funny. So, you know, I'll catch the vibe. Are we good with that, chat? Reacts for an hour. Catch the vibe of the Kid Leroy concert. If it's shit, dip. If it's fire, stay. And then leave. And then we'll go back to reacts. Right? Like, it's not, 
it's not like I'm going to go to the Kid Leroy concert and then leave and then get off stream. Like, like we're doing reacts. I'll do the Kid Leroy concert and then we'll just go right back to reacts. Like, I'm not planning on staying. If it's more than a half hour, we'll just fucking leave. Unless it's fire. What about copyright? Well, Nick A30's been broadcasting the fact that he's going to stream it for the last six hours. Broadcasting so, I don't that think that it's it. going to be... I don't think that it's going to be copyrighted. Yo, JoJo's live. Yo, could I ask JoJo if he wants to attend the Kid Leroy? No, nah, I'm not even going to ask him, bro. Because it's going to be so shit. It's going to be so shit. I already know it's going to fucking suck. Bro, Nick A30 isn't live anymore. That motherfucker went live at 9 a.m. titling his stream that the Kid Leroy concert was going to be fucking at 6 p.m. <laughs> Jesus a Christ. A Amazing. Never back down. Never give up. For the meme, the dream, the stream, and the A team. Bro, I have never seen this. This is his intro. Oh my god, this is his fucking intro. Dude, that's so long too. Holy shit. Never back down. Never give up. Never give up. For the meme, the dream for chest. I did uh, some lower back, upper back, so I'm uh, pretty beat out for uh, when it comes to exercise. Oh, you're pretty but beefed up, Nick. But anyway, let's get. All right. <laughs> you see what I mean, though, bro? He went live for eight hours. He went live for eight and a half hours, saying Fortnite concert at six p.m. And then he and then he went and then he ended stream. Like, do you think he's gonna come back? Bro, anybody remember the last Fortnite event we attended? He talked about it for literally four hours after it ended. He was just on the loading screen for like three hours. That shit was fucking hilarious. Anyways, bro, I love Nick. I, I know I know, I make fun of him sometimes, but like, bro, he's so nice. All right, little for the sub, big for the sub. Uh, Q for the 300 bets. Have you ever seen the bread crashing videos on TikTok? No, what the fuck is that? Pug for the sub, Ramon for the 300 bits. Kyler for the 300 bits. He said got suspended today. For what? Sorry to hear that. Skull and Koi for the sub. Parker for the 500 bitties. I punched somebody in the face today and they snitched. You're really surprised that they said that you punched them in the face? Henry for the sub. Mr. Yo-Yo for the 300 bits. Did you even, like, was it even a fight or did you just punch them? Bat for the sub. And I know men. Thank you again for the 10 gifteds. All right. Before we even get into the main reacts where we get into Darman, a video that somebody said about their worst week in correlation to me. Uh, alone in the week or alone for a week in the fucking world's coldest forest blah 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 bank robbery shit we got a bunch of reactions we're gonna start out with this which is a news story somebody sent in the discord exclamation point discord um, where uh, basically a apparently I haven't even seen this a 29 year old woman posed as a teen to enroll in a New Jersey high school why the fuck would anyone do that? Why the fuck would anyone want to go back to high school? You are bugging the fuck out. Talk about peaking in high school. Let's see what's going on here. More than 2,000 students attend New Brunswick High School. Teenagers learning how to become adults. But police say... What an intro one of that students is. Teenagers learning how to become adults. High school does not teach you how to become an adult. Have y'all ever learned about fucking life skills in high school? You learn about, like, society and social cues and shit. In what fucking world in any class are you learning about how to become an adult? You learn biology and shit. You learn about career-based things. Maybe that's what they're kind of coinciding it on. I don't know. That was a shitty intro. Damage for the five gifted. Thank you, damage artwork for the five gifted subs. Woofy for the sub. Uh, and Kyler for the three bits. This kid hit my friend, so I choked him out. Why didn't your friend choke him out? Sam for the 300 minutes. I did my permit test for the fourth time and passed. Can I get a dub? Dub. But that also means that you failed three times before it. Was no team. I'm glad that you passed this time now. Teen at all. She was 29 years old and lied on her birth certificate to enroll in school, sending a chill. What? 29 year old looks like a fucking high schooler. Like, can I, like, yeah, some high schoolers might look older, but what fucking 29-year-old looks like a sophomore? Like, no one. Like, actually no one. Now, you're almost 30. Through folks around town. It's very scary. I wouldn't want my kids in that situation. 
You know, it's very worrisome. Police say He Jong Shin was arrested, and on Tuesday she was charged with providing a false government document. But school officials say she had been going to classes, pretending to be a teenager for four days. Police Why? Why? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why would you? What the fuck is the point of that? You're fucking pretending to be a kid for fucking for fucking four days. You just make yourself attend high school class. Why? That fucking sucks. Oh my god. And it took four days for them to realize that she was as old as the teacher. Dude, some high school teachers are younger than 29. You could teach a high school class at like 24. You're fucking kidding me. She could have been older than some of the teachers. Police haven't said why she did this, but other students at the school tell the local paper, New Brunswick Today, that she was making friends. And they fear she might have been trying to recruit girls for sex trafficking. That might explain it. That might, that makes more, bro, that makes more sense than a 29-year-old. Dude, it, that's fucking nuts, arrest her. Uh, but, like, dude, that makes more, that, like, that clicks in my head more than her being like, yeah, I just wanted to go back to high school. Other teens in the neighborhood say that's frightening. I honestly would be really scared because I don't know. Like but what do they, how do, do they're not going to ask her why she fucking attended the high school? They're just going to say this woman did this and then got kicked out. Like, what does she look like? Do they show her face? They don't. And then they get, yo, yeah, and then they get this reporter every time. Useless as fuck. Why the hell are you here? Like, they drove all the way the fuck out here for her to stand in front of the school for no fucking reason. Like, why do they, why does she even need to be here? This isn't some tornado shit. You're just standing outside in front of the school at 1 a.m., probably reporting on whatever the fuck happened. School figured out they were- Interviews? Who the fuck are they interviewing at this time? It is midnight. Dealing with a fraudulent situation, they called the authorities immediately. That said, they are reviewing policy and the law to figure out how to prevent this kind of thing from happening again. Reporting from New Brunswick, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York. I love how news reporters always get a little self-promo. Right before they end. You know what I mean? Like, every time they talk about anything, it could be like two seconds. Right before. Uh, and back to you, Jim. Coming live. Coming live from New Brunswick, New Jersey. Right where the 29-year-old woman was trying. And they always, they always drag it on. Joe Bartolozzi. Action news. Like, nobody gives a shit. Oh, my God. All right. Moving on. <laughs> Just wanted to intro the stream with that. Sam for the 300 bitties. Uh, and Mystify for the 300 bits. If you were a kitchen utensil, which one would do you think you would be? Also, can you say happy birthday to my printer? Like your computer printer. It's not, there's no birthday. Panda for the sub. If I was a kitchen utensil, damn. Chat, what kitchen utensil would you be? A whisk. No. Because that's useless. You don't need a fucking whisk. A fork. I have many utilities and capabilities. A ladle. A ladle's kind of dumb. A pizza cutter. Chat, what would I be? What kitchen utensil would I be? Not you, me. Now me. I, I want to know what my chat thinks. I don't need, I don't really know what I would be. Say happy birthday to the fucking printer. Oh my god, happy birthday to the printer. Jesus Christ. That one for the 300 bits. What's your opinion on dark blue? Because I painted my entire room that today. It's my second favorite color outside of black. Uh, I would actually say that it might be my first favorite because black is technically black and white are technically shades. Prince and Twag for the sub. I would be a knife, a funnel, a blender, a spoon, a strainer. Ugh. If I was a strainer, that would suck. I would be a spoon. Why is everybody saying a spoon? What about a spork? What about a what about a sp knife fork? That's three things in one. Ethan for the three inch bits. Kind of philosophical. Have you ever thought uh that somebody in your chat at one point has probably died? Uh, well, yeah, that's literally confirmed. One of my dad, one of my uh, mods committed suicide. Not trying to ruin the vibe here, but yeah, that's happened. Even outside of that, yes. Uh, I always think about that. How many of my followers are dead? You know, like specifically on TikTok. Yo, rip in the chat for Cam, by the way. Um, but like, dude. Like, yeah, I, I have 21 million followers on TikTok. How many of them do you think are dead, chat? Probably like 30,000. 
If you want me to be real, because I've been doing TikTok for what? Three years? Three years, a lot of people have died. Uh, probably like 30K. Probably like 30K are probably dead. 40, maybe 50. And maybe 100, dude. Because like, like 21 million people is a lot of people. And like a lot of people die. But most of my followers aren't like 80-year-old people that are dying of heart disease. So realistically, I would say it's probably like in the 10s to 30Ks. <coughs> uh, Trumpster for the thousand biddies. Figured I'd do a little gift. Uh, or figured I'd gift a little sometime or something because the streams have been massive, uh, massive dub lately. Thank you. Fuck. I really botched that message. Thank you, Trumpster, for the thousand biddies. And Panda for the three hundred events. What's uh, what G Fuel flavor is your favorite? Probably hype sauce. Maybe clickbait. I've been really vibe. A anyways, moving on. Maybe clickbait. I don't know for sure. Mater for the sub. First video of the day. Actually coinciding with the Fortnite tournament. Or not tournament. Concert. Fortnite teen earns more than mom. A dramatized me video, a.k.a. off-brand our man. Juice for the 300 biddies. What's up, Joe? Sorry I'm late. I had guitar lessons. You're barely late. I haven't really even started anything. Can you say hello, everybody flooding in? No. That's a what? That's on the noty. I don't say hello, everybody flooding in in my fucking dramatic voice unless the noty went out. Fortnite teen earns more than mom. That's enough, Jonathan. Do you hear me? That's enough. Are you mad, mom? This is the last straw. No more streams and no more for Is that their Wi-Fi router? What is that? Streams and no more Fortnite. No! Oh, no. No, 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 no. The game's still, how is, how is the game still, how is the same, how is the game still going? He's not even controlling it. Oh, mom. And it's not, he's not watching anybody either. What have you done, mom? I told you to go to bed. It's three in the morning and you're streaming instead of sleeping. You have school tomorrow and... What? Why is it still running? <laughs> Why is it still running? Don't worry. You didn't stop the stream, but you did black out your internet. What do you mean? I've been for... What? What is this fucking weird ass Joker twist? Uh, don't worry, mom. You didn't end this stream. I actually have a separate Wi Fi router. Meh. Like, what the fuck? A separate internet. Mm, don't worry, mom. That was, that was a decoy. That was a decoy Wi Fi router, mom. <laughs> the other one is hidden. You won't be able to get to it. Bitch, just unplug the fucking computer. This kid's like, uh, you got a little bit outsmarted. Just unplug the PC. Just unplug the computer from the fucking wall. And then the stream ends. And connection for a long time, especially for the high quality streaming. You broke the router for the home internet. So I'm sorry. You will be without the connection until you will think about your behavior. Bro, okay, the mom was being a bit of a dick, but in, in this scenario, if I was the mom and this kid's telling me to learn my lesson, I'm simply breaking his computer. I'm simply, I'm simply ripping the fans out and fucking snapping that whack ass GPU, whatever the fucking dumb ass GPU that is in half. What, yo, like, buddy thinks he's got the fucking free reign here. You live in your mom's house, right? Like, you don't have the power. To tell your mom to shut the fuck up, right? You gotta respect her. Even though she was being a bit outlandish there. Uh, not a bit. Really outlandish. Um, no need to break the Wi-Fi router. Literally could have just unplugged the computer. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, him acting like that, smashing the PC. No doubt. Kira for the five gift hits! Kira underrated. Think of the five gifted subs. Big dubs in the chat for that. Thank Kira if you got a sub. And thank you for the five fucking gift hits. Mr. Oof Chase, or Mr. Oof and Chase for the sub. Nathan for the 335 bits. Black is not a color. Get it right. I already said that. Sam for the three inch bets. During winter break, I went to Disneyland and kept ripping ass in the lines. <laughs> I couldn't stop it in the PP. The P. Let's try that again. During winter break, I went to Disneyland and kept ripping ass in the lines. I couldn't stop it, and the people behind me looked at me disgusted. Dude, I'm lagging right now. I might be an NPC chat. 
Like, I, that was literally a fucking glitch. I rubber banded right there. Oh, my God. They couldn't stop looking at you. Well, yeah, I wonder why. Maybe because you kept ripping ass in line. What the fuck? Do it on the ride. Then nobody knows it's you. Juice for the 400 bets. These are my last bets. I had a dream. Uh, Joe was streaming for nine months straight. That's fucking awful. Nine months straight, nonstop, like never ending. Like Ludwig's subathon times nine. Hold up. My manager's texting me. All right. Back. <sighs> Mighty for the sub. Jonathan, please. That's enough. You've missed too much school already. Why do I need it anyway? To end up like you? Working as a nurse for the peanuts all night? No. Nurses actually make a good salary. What? Like a, like a hospital nurse can make like 70k a year. Working like half the year. I don't want to live like that. Yeah, they make pretty good money. Thanks. <laughs> See? I don't, I don't want to live like that. Thanks. I'm going to be getting Fortnite Battle Royale victories. <laughs> Thank you, Sobs. Beauty cake is with you. Bro's name what is Beauty Cake. The money Bro's name is Beauty Cake? Jesus Christ. Of my own house. I'm trying to move it out. And as you can see, there is not so much left. GGVP, mom. GGVP. But he said GG well played. But he said GG well played. Yo, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, pal. You're trying to move out on, on a single Twitch salary at the age of 17, dude? Nah, bro. Post tax, you can't buy a home. I don't. I don't think you're realizing like how much money you would need to make to buy a house. You're not getting a bank loan either. You're fucking seventeen. Have fun paying outright for the entire house in cash. You're not moving the fuck out. You're not even seventeen. Come on, mom. That's enough. Let me get back to the work, please. <clears throat> Sorry for the pause, folks. Oh, man. Yeah, the most entertaining streamer ever. Bro, they just watched this entire interaction, too. Like, his whole stream chat of, what, 10 people? Bro, yo, donation alert, someone donated $1,500. All right, what the fuck? What are you, what are you XQC? If you have 20 viewers, you're not getting donated $1,500. You're out of your goddamn mind. They will never understand us. Don't forget about the donation. The more donations, the sooner Beauty Cake will move out from the crazy old lady. And now I have a challenge, guys. To take top one in Fortnite. Bro, he has a 420p webcam that is facing the side of his face. Imagine if my stream cam looked like this. And I played the game over here. That would be the dumbest fucking position. Like, why, dude? That is act. That actually might be worse than the camera being behind you. Like, I, like, what the fuck is this? I have a challenge, guys, to take top one in Fortnite thirteen times in a row. Let's go. Oh, Aviv. Long but he's getting one chat an hour. Holy fuck. What, you're out of your mind. You think you're moving the fuck out. You're getting one chat every hour. You got a dono of $1,500. And now you're reading a chat that says, Hi, Pewdy Cake. What the fuck? I'm not seeing... Uh, guys. Like, I'm not dissing small streamers. I support small, small streamers every time somebody's an asshole to them. But, like, you're not moving out on fucking two viewers. You're going to get one Twitch Prime a month. You're not getting a $1,500 dono. Welcome, my first subscriber and first... Bro, his first sub and first dono ever was from Aviv2402. First dono ever. Your first dono ever on Twitch. You got $1,500. And all he said was... Look, mom.
I'm gonna be moving out soon. You didn't shit your pants? Somebody gives you a thousand dollars and that's the first time anybody's ever donated to you and you're just like, thanks. Bro, maybe that was a chat. You ever you remember those chat trolls like four years ago? And they would go into like <laughs> like ten year old Fortnite streamers and they would just type out donated a thousand dollars and the kids would fucking shit themselves. Oh my god, that was so fucked up. When people would go, they would because it just says their username. And it would just say, they would just type out donated 1,500 and somebody fucking, be bro, like people believe that. Like even today, like on Twitch, like really small streamers, they're usually like, like among us players or some shit like that, but they'll fall for that. Free for the sub, person for the sub, Cruzville for the 300 biddies. I have the worst pudding today. I almost puked. Do you fuck with pudding? Putting these nuts in your face? Dude, I'm not, I'm not fucking five. Like, I'm not gonna, I already, I didn't fall for that, you fucking idiot. He, t yo, you know he typed, Crucible was spamming the shit out of that, but he was waiting. Cause he knew I wasn't gonna fall for it. You didn't get me. Gullible as fuck. I'm reading your dono. I'm not gullible. I didn't fall for that. Oh my God. Nah, nah, that's literally an L. Shout out for the 500 bets. Can you watch my suggested video on Discord sometime? It's about how news media believes that video games are dangerous for kids. If you send it, uh, resend it in the Discord, I might scan it and check. Uh, but I don't always watch all the videos that people send me. Uh, Joe Schroeder, Lozzy for the Thuringe Bets. my birthday today. Happy birthday and mystify for the Thuringe Bettys. What color is your toothbrush? I don't even know. What shampoo do you use for your hair? I use two-in-one. I use two-in-one head and shoulders. Dandruff shampoo, bitch dandruff shampoo and i'm not ashamed of it i've contemplated buying irish springs five in one i have i have i used it one time at an airbnb it was pretty good it smelled nice i might you know i might even buy the seven in one it might fuel my car as well i might buy the gasoline one i might buy the irish springs five in one shampoo conditioner soap hand wash deodorizer gas cleaner guys please welcome i might just shower in diesel my first subscriber and first donator, Avi24.02. Uh, wait a minute. This is a pretty dope ass setup, though. I will admit, he has a pretty cool fucking setup in the back. I framed your dollar. It was already framed. And the dollar is digital. You don't actually get cash. What is this? Some 1930s motivational fucking businessman shit? Look at Schmear's bits. Dude, you're spamming. I swear to God, if you say schmear these nuts, yeah, my <laughs> bro, I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. I literally knew you were gonna do that. I was like, bro, saying, I, bro, keep spamming. I'm missing schmear's bits. What the fuck is that? I look up schmear. He's not even in my chat. Fuck, I fell for that one, bro. But that's not even my fault. You're, it's like, I'm, I'm trying to be nice and like not miss a dono. And you're, you fucking tell me I miss Schmear's bits. Scottish for the five. I want to know if you've ever been to Scotland. Have you tried Urn Brew or Haggis? No, I don't even know what the fuck that is. Is that a fish? Cruzwell for the three inch bitties says sympathy bits. Bro, I actually fell for that one. I knew it was odd. I was like, why are you spamming that like a thousand times? Oh, come on, man. There is no other way. I'm very pleased, but man, the way you talk to your mom, too much. I did it all by my own. By my What NPC comment is that? Every chatter would be like, dude, you're a fucking dickhead. They wouldn't be like, uh, the way you talk to your mom was a little bit too much. Work. And she's just trying to ruin everything because of jealous. I'm not gonna support her all her life. I mean, she make her choice. If you need money, 
You don't even support her now. You live, you live at your mom's house and she controls everything. You're saying you're trying to make money to move out. What do you mean you're supporting her? It's great for the South. Sit in front of your computer and stream. That's it. Don't work like in yours all night for Bro said all you got to do to make money is sit in front of your screen and stream. Peanuts. It's a little more complicated than that. <sighs> I'm not recognized you, man. What's wrong with you? Oh, it's weird. There's ads on Twitch? Dude, he has one viewer. Oh shit, now the other chatters are coming in. Holy fuck. What's wrong with you, dude? Yeah, dude, it's rude. Nah, you, you do make ads, but like, the whole idea that all you gotta do is sit in front of your stream and screen, or f sit in front of your screen and stream, is untrue. Uh, cause a lot, like, have you guys ever scrolled on Twitch to like, really, like, like, really bot, like, bottom of the, like, uh, game tab on Twitch? Like, people that have, like, one viewer. Like, I'm not dissing on them. But, like, they don't talk. And that's, in part, the issue of there's no chat interaction, right? Because, realistically, I feel bad for, like, streamers with very low view counts. Because having chat interaction is, is really fucking hard. Because being entertaining when no one's watching you is almost impossible. Like, imagine none of you guys, like, chatted. And I just sat here with no, no feedback. I just sat here and I just tried to entertain you guys with zero feedback. Like, no emotes, no chats, no, no bits, nothing. I just sat here and streamed. It, it'd be impossible, right? So that's the issue with big streamers, or not big streamers, small streamers, in the effect that they can't really grow because when somebody tunes in, they're just sitting there doing nothing because they can't entertain them because they're not getting feedback. So it's kind of like a death loop <laughs> for small, for really small streamers to even gain an initial following. Once you have like 20 viewers or so, they type and you can actually interact with people. But getting that initial boost, that's why every time somebody asks me for Twitch advice, I always say get a following initially because if you just try and stream with like three viewers, no one's going to talk. No one's going to talk or no one's going to type. Nobody's, you're not going to have any interaction. Uh, but that's even with like people that have more viewers. Like I've rated like five viewer streamers before. I've rated one viewer streamers and they don't talk. It's because they you you have to learn how to it's it's not something that's like a gifted skill, right? Like I hate when streamers act like they're better than everybody and they're like meant for this job. You learn the job. Yes, it's in part of your personality, but like you have to learn how to entertain people. So when I raid like a one viewer streamer, it's very awkward because they don't know what to fucking say. So him saying all you gotta do and sit in front of a uh, sit in front of a screen and stream is just untrue. Blazing for the sub, crack for the sub, bolt, psycho, and TB for the sub. It's great for the sub. Werefall for the three inch You have a Dodge truck, right? I'm looking for cars because I have money and I'm able to, uh, I'm about to turn 16. I do not own a truck or a Dodge. Maybe going on flying. Anyway, there are a lot of people here. Try dodging these nuts. So guys, I'm PewDieCake, and we are streaming Fortnite. I'll just... <sighs> Thanks guys for helping me move. Dude, you're you're in so the same fucking, you're in the same fucking house. You didn't move at all. Awesome, you're only 16 and you have already saved enough for a house. And they can even save enough for an iPhone. How did he save enough for- oh, Bro, this makes no fucking sense. This makes no fucking sense. It's not even just the shitty acting. Whoever the fuck wrote this goddamn story out is an idiot. Because he literally shouted out his first dono, which somehow was $1,500. And then he immediately has enough money to buy a home. Even if he could- That's not even enough for a down payment. Like, a down payment on a home is, like, 50 grand. Like, you're not you're not just buying a house. Fortnite and blazing for the sub. Yeah. I'm almost there. But I need to get ready. I'm sure just a few days. And I will live in my own mansion. My first dono was 5k bits from Gerald. Yeah, but you know him. Is your mother letting you go? 
she can do anything, I'm ready to talk to a lawyer. If she tries to do anything, we will go straight to court. And we will get a restraining order to keep her away from me. On your own, mom? You're gonna get a restraining order on your mom because she doesn't support your Fortnite endeavors. Oh, that's kind of cruel. <laughs> hey guys, so you're helping Jonathan. Hi, Mrs. Hi, Mrs. Boys, can I ask you for a favor? I'm coming off the night shift at the hospital and I wanna get a few hours of sleep before I have to go back. So, do you mind to keep it down a bit? Yeah. No! Mom! Mom, I have, mom! I have to, mom, I have to entertain my chat. Mom, Aviv2402 is planning on me going live, mom. Like, they said they turned on the noti and everything, mom. Like, are you, like, you're telling me I have to keep it down? Mom, I have to, I have to participate in this cash cup. What? What? Mom, yeah, literally. Mom, I have to win this Fortnite cash cup. Or else the, the bank's going to take my house. Because this is like a $200,000 home. And I put a $1,000 down payment on it. And I took a, a $200,000 loan from the house. Or from the bank to pay off the house. At like a 12% per year interest rate. Actually, I didn't even get the loan from the bank. I got it from this guy off the street. And he told me if I don't pay him back, he's going to murder me in a week. Like, buddy, you're not, like, oh my god. Just fucking keep it down. It's not that hard to fucking stream Fortnite. Yo! Dial it. See, mom? See, see, mom? See, mom? All you gotta do, see, mom, all you gotta do is go in front of a screen and... And like, dude, people, people, <laughs> bro, Vinra, thank you for the 10,000 biddies, bro. Oh my, what is with the die lit thing? All my mods do that. I don't even know what it is. Isn't it a song or some shit? Thank you for the fucking 10,000 biddies, Vinra. Oh my God. Frankie for the 500 bets. Uh, I was in Nolan's discord call last night when he raided him. It was pretty lit. Dub. Nick and Abby for the sub. Uh, oh, were you one of the guys freaking out? I heard somebody in the back freaking out. Scottish for the five. It's pronounced Iron Brew. It's a famous Scottish soda. Now, I've never even heard of that. Bo uh, Boogie for the sub. Fortnite and Blazing for the sub. And bro, Vinrun. Vinrun, bro. They give the 10,000 biddies. Also, fun fact about Vinrun chat. Only mod I've ever met in real life. He wasn't even a mod at the time. Wasn't even a mod at the time. Met Vinrun. Met Vinrun in real life. Really? Yeah. Uh, when I was at the Mr. Beast uh, challenge, he pulled up and he was like, bro, I'm Vinrun. And I literally went, there's no fucking way. Like, I actually, I freaked the fuck out. Nah, that shit was nuts. Mr. Yo-Yo for the 300 bets. It would be sick if a 700 pound bear came in the room and started mauling the streamer. Yeah, I don't think that would be very sick. Langston for the 1,000, but he's left the content. I'm going to high school soon. What AP classes do you recommend? I don't know if you're going to be taking any APs your freshman year. I'm not recommended for AP World History, but my teacher put a note in saying I want to take the class. I don't think you would get it. I don't think you would even take a, a push fucking freshman year. You take a push like junior, senior year. Uh, AP classes, chat, what are the best APs to take? Bio. Psy AP Psych is apparently one of the easiest APs. It's pretty easy to take. Vin Run for the 300 minutes says Manifest did convince me to go, by the way. Manifest convinced you to go to the Mr. Beast event? Really? Dude, he wasn't even a mod then either. Was he even a VIP? Oh my god. And Finron, think of the 10,000 biddies, bro. That's fucking nuts, dude. Bio, English, yeah. I'm doing it again. Why should my friends and I have adapt to you? Whoa, dude. It's cool. Calm down. No, no. You're interrupting when I'm streaming. You're interrupting when I'm chilling with my friends. You try to ruin everything. That's... Why I moved. Bro, I would if if I had a kid that was this much of a cuck, I would actually kick them out. I would disown them. I would I would say, good luck. GG's well played, because that's what they said to me. I would see GGWP, dickhead. Get on the fucking street. Yeah, good luck, man. Good luck, man. Good luck streaming with good luck streaming when you don't even have a fucking computer. 
Been run for the 300 biddies. By the way, use code Joe B. Facts. Facts. Somebody redeemed flex? Code Joe B. Exclamation point G Fuel. Facts. Facts. 20% off. Need to use code Joe B. I'm already have enough haters to ruin my life. And you know what? Papa G this early? Yo, how about this? I'll pop the G when we when we pull up to the Fortnite concert. <laughs> when me and my chat, yo, chat, when we pull up to the Fortnite concert, that's when I'll pop the G. See? Just what does that even say? More, and you will see me only on. He almost has a million dollars. What? How the fuck? Dude, you made your first dollar streaming yesterday. And you almost have a million dollars. I, dude, no ma I don't think any Twitch streamer has had that big of a blow up. Any social media influencer. No. In a day? From, from first dollar to a million. The quickest person to ever make that was probably some TikToker. Like Charlie D'Amelio or some shit. Bro, you're bugging you think you're making that much fucking money. That's impossible. Trying for the sub Satan for the three inch bets. Did you know that Kentucky is the only state that starts with K? Is it? Bro, like, I, I don't even know. Michael for the three inch bets. The mom should kick out. Oh, Kansas. Kansas. Yeah, Kansas nuts or some shit. No, it's going to be. No, it's going to be some. No, no, no. Chat, 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 chat. They're going to get you. Oh, my Oh my God. My whole chat just fell for it. Oh, my God. My whole chat just fell for it. You're all fucking stupid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, chat. Why the fuck did you just say Kansas? Oh, my God. You all just fucking fell for it. I didn't even say it. I didn't even say it. Not because I didn't fall for it. I literally didn't know Kansas uh, was. I didn't know there was another state that started with a K. I couldn't think of Kansas. Trying for the sub, Michael, for the three inch middies. The mom should kick him out and take his million because he's a minor than a moat on him. Dude, that would, like, post-tax, that would be, like, less than 500K. Post, like, especially, well, depending on what state he lives in with state tax. But, like, a million dollars on Twitch Rev, dude, you're getting taxed the shit out of that. Line. Only. It would be at least 50. It would be, and I would be, depending on the state, it would be between, like, it's 39 federal if you're making a million. Plus whatever state, you're, state tax you're in. You're probably getting taxed between 45 and 52% on a million bucks. You're not keeping that money. Kira for the fringe bits. Are you still playing Super Seducer or did you drop it? I'll play it here and there. It's not a, it's not like a storyline game. In my stream. When's the Mr. Beast video with you coming out in it? Dude, I don't know. Or with you coming out. No, I don't know, man. Uh, they told me within two weeks, but that was two weeks ago. So we'll see. I, I have been told it's definitively coming out. It's just a matter of when. I don't know. Okay, son. Whatever you say. Hey, Joe, he didn't make his first dollar yesterday. He was just saying that that user was his first ever dono. Bro, even then, the amount of chatters he had was like zero. Like, you're not making a million bucks, bro. Same. On just Twitch, too? Oh, my God. To make a million dollars in a month or even a year on Twitch, you would have to have, damn, you would probably have to have moist critical numbers or more. You'd have to have like 20k viewers to make a million a year on Twitch. You'd have to be big. Wait, Jonathan, there's no way to talk to him. You're gonna have to tell me how to treat here? Who the hell are you thinking you are? You're nothing. You're no name. You really think yeah. so? Yeah. Dude. Fight! 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 I can fool. Bye. Ah. <laughs> uh. That's fine. I can do it on my own. What do I need such a stupid friend? Bro, he ma he makes a million dollars a year on Twitch and he still has a webcam. How much does XUC make per stream? Probably like 20 grand. He ma XUC makes more than like anyone. Whoa. Cause he streams for like fifteen hours. Every time X runs an ad, he probably makes like six hundred bucks. He makes eight mil a year from Twitch. Yeah. 
He probably, I would say maybe even upwards of 20K, 20K a stream. Maybe a bit more, depending, especially if he's doing a sponsor. I don't even know if he runs sponsors. Why for the three bets? You're one of my favorite streamers. I really enjoy your streams. Thank you. He comes back a day later to the same chats. Hey, beauty cakers. Today, I want to start stream with this. You can ask me, what is this old junk? But not for me. I'm starting to stream, thank this old man. I'm always dreamed to get one. But it what is he saying? What is he saying? What is he saying? I, dude, even even re no, reading the sub no reading the subtitles, I have no idea what he's trying to say. I think he's saying that like he fucking he he started on this PC. It's just like he, dude, the subtitles, the sentences don't make sense. Today I wanted to stream stream with this. You're going to ask me, what old is this ju old junk? But not to me. I started to stream thanks to this old man. Yeah. He's trying to say that this is what he started stream on. To stream thanks to this old man. I'm always dreamed to get one. But it was impossible. Because my mom, she was alone and she's work a lot. Then why is he shitting on his mom? His mom works a lot. She's alone. She's the sole provider for the family. And he's a fucking cuck to her. He's a fucking dickhead. Your mom did everything for you. And you're an asshole. W mom L kid, literally. And didn't earn so much. <laughs> Can I imagine how surprised I was when she gave it to me? <laughs> wow. Oh, he's going to feel bad. If, if you think on this... If it wasn't from here, I probably wouldn't be a streamer. Max. Bro, are you f bro, bro, bro? <laughs> oh, oh, whoa! The bro, I, bro, you gotta, you gotta fucking get more hype than that. Oh wow, a thousand dollars. Oh, wow. My God, dude. Start twerking on the wall or some shit. I'm going to be bugging, dude. What's all that? That's what I do. Thank, thank you, every you, You've been with me from all time. Uh, thank you, man. I, I need to tell my mom. You did twerk on the wall for $1,000. That's what I'm saying. Dude, that's literally what I'm saying. I'm saying on $1,000, bro, I'd be shit my pants. Sausage for the three. Oh, thank you, guys. I, I love it so much. Yo, wow, oh, wow, wow. I, I, I just have one thousand dollars sent to me. What? Why is he freaking out more about the thousand than when he got a thousand five hundred? His mom is a V. Nah, chat. Wait, how do you know? Oh, was it showing her? In with me from all time. Uh, oh my God, she's literally watching him. Thank you, man. I, I need to tell my mom. Oh my God, all the money, all the money he's ever made on Twitch has been from his mom. Dude, that would be hilarious. All the money he's ever made on Twitch from his mom. And this whole time he thought it was just fucking, he was just a great streamer. Oh, wait. Thank you, guys. I, I, I love you so much. Yeah, wow. 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 I, I, I just have $1,000 sent to me. Wow. Dude, and now the stream's just looking at this. Like, dude. If you leave, if you just left stream, if you just left stream, you're not playing a video, you're not playing music, you're not doing anything, you just leave the stream for more than like five minutes, dude, everybody's leaving. Black code for the sub, random for the sub. Well, congratulations. You do that. When I go take a piss, when I go take a piss, I do that. I run to the bathroom, play music, and fucking run back. If I was going to be gone for like five minutes, bro, I'd play a YouTube video for you guys.
Donations you just Presumption. Yeah, uh, uh, it was the last donation, so it's now for the new house now. I'm so proud of you. I mean, <laughs> when I was your age, I could only dream of things like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you probably need more boxes for your stuff. I'm just gonna go and get you some. It's... See, bro, the stream's still running. It's okay, I have enough. Like... <laughs> Oh. Our old father. You don't remember that. You were a fucking toddler. You were literally a fucking toddler. You do not remember that photo. Our old photo. That's not nostalgic. You were you didn't have the fucking memory cortex then. You don't have any memory from that time. You were probably an infant. It's head writing. Maybe the I dad can't. left. The dad probably died. The numbers are like A V. <laughs> oh my god, it is the fucking mom. It literally is the fucking mom. Wait. It's my mother. Mother oh, he has the pause screen. Bro, that's just extra work. Like, do, like I think when streamers have the I'll be back soon screen, bro, come on. Just fucking leave. You know what I mean? Like, I'll just get the fuck up. I'll just walk off. I'll just walk off cam. Like, it's the same damn thing. People just stare at my lava lamp. Lexi for the 300 bits. DG for the 350 bits. Uh, when is birthday stream? February 6th. Random for the sub. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing definitively yet for my birthday stream. It'll be a Monday. We're probably going to do a bit of gaming, philosophy, reacts, everything. It'll probably be like a three-hour stream, like a regular stream. I'll probably just have a drink or two. Uh, probably freak out with chat. Oh, my God! Because I'll be 21. That'll be about it. It won't be that hype. What is Aviv? Oh. Smoke weed as well. Yes, that will occur. That will occur. Yep, go to Yodi Land. Yeah, that'll happen on Monday. Yeah, or not this Monday, ne uh, next Monday. Yeah, that'll all, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. Sorry. You can't smoke weed? In, t in New Jersey, it's legal. You have to be 21, but that's it. Here are your boxes, and, um... Did you hear about Kai? Why did Kai get banned? Does anybody know? Is he back yet? Oh, after eating edibles and passing out on stream. Bro, he passed out. Oh, it's not because he got faded. Twitch, is, Twitch has a rule. Dangerous consumption of alcohol or other substances that can lead to being incapacitated. Because he fell asleep on stream, he got banned. He passed out. If you, pa if you pass out from being drunk high, you throw up from being, being too drunk or high, you'll get, you'll get banned. That's what it is. Get a cigar. Yeah, you're bugging, bro. I'm not smoking a cigar in my room. What for the sub? That'll smell terrible for a week. I think we should say our goodbye. He'll get unbanned. He had a hundred milligram edible. Well, that it, it's not the fact that he ate the edible. It's the fact that he passed out on stream. He was too high. Like if you it, him being high on stream isn't even not allowed. Like there's this streamer that like I literally watch. Like Chris Udala gets high on stream every day. Cupins gets high on stream every single time he streams. You're allowed to get high on stream if it's legal in your state. Um, you just can't get too high to the point where, like, you can't move. <laughs> like, dude, you're allowed. You could even you could even smoke and be like, bro, I'm too high right now. But, like, he got so high. Bro, where's the clip of him passing out? Like, that's why he got banned. It's, I think he should be unbanned, but I think it was stupid he did that. Uh, passes out. He got banned because it was this, dude. All right, chat. Yo, fight, fight, fight. Oh. <laughs> yo, yo, Kai, you should tag. Yo, that's on Steam. Yo, yo, Kai, Kai, Kai. All right, but Kai not doing it, bro. Bro, just end the stream. That, dude, that's what I'd do. If I'm ever...
Can you show this? Yeah. Dude, if I'm ever if I'm ever fucking eating an edible on stream in the future and I get too high, I'm going to say, yo, chat, I'm too high and then dip. You know what I mean? Like, why, why, why let your chat see you just fucking sit there like slumped? Like, just, just fucking either don't eat an edible or if you eat one, you get too high, just end stream. Like, why is he sitting there? Like, why the, why the fuck would chat, chat, would you watch me if I was just like, like, I wouldn't even want to be live. If I was that high, I would be like, dude, I want to get off. Crush for the 300 bits. Uh, we have the same birthday. That's cool. Alex for the sub, your mom for the 300 bits. We have the same birthday as well. Oh, damn. Lexi for the 300 bits. You guys would want to watch me do that. Well, that's TOS. So you can't. But getting high is not TOS. Can you get high on Twitch? <laughs> Can it, It's not prohibited. As long as streamers live in a country or region where it's legal. But you can't get too inebriated. You can't get too drunk and you can't get too high. That's the ruling. All right, back to this. Now, now. He got banned for it because he passed out on stream. Yeah, I have to be at the hospital in an hour, and I'm not sure I'll catch up with you when I get back. Somebody redeemed headset that? Not even bad yet. Just started stream. Back, so. Uh. My whole Twitch channel is on smoking weed and gaming. It's definitely allowed. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying it's allowed. I'm saying you just can't get to. It'd be like getting so drunk you throw up. Like, if you get so drunk on stream that you throw up, that's dangerous. Like, they're going to ban you for that. Drinking and smoking are allowed if it's legal. Well, drinking, it's legal everywhere. But smoking, if it's legal in your state. Spiked for the sub, which it is in New Jersey. I'm so sorry for everything. Love you so much. Bro, why is the mom apologizing? The kid should apologize. But mom... Damn, so now should I... Dude, I was planning on one night in the future having an edible stream. Should I not do that? Like, when I'm 21, should I not do that? I don't know. Like, I don't think... I, I think it would be fine. If you get too high, you just end stream. You should fucking... I'll see you guys later. And he's a, like, I'm not going to sit there and be like, all right, let me comatose in the fucking corner. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to pass out. Yeah. Do it, bro. That okay? Well, that's down the line. That not. I'm not doing that, bro. On on my, on my birthday, it's a Monday chat. Like I'll hit a dab cart, maybe have a beer or two. But like chat, I'm not getting fucked on my birthday. Like I hate to be the bearer of bad news, chat. Maybe that weekend, but like chat on a Monday, I have class. I have class on Tuesday. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna be like railed and then go to class at 8 a.m. Hey. Get blazed? No. Do meth. Yeah, 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 yeah. What a great idea. Yeah, crystal meth. Still here. I thought you'd be at your new house by now. Yeah, I'm planning to, but I forget to Somebody can say chill ketamine stream. Chill stream, only doing a few crack pellets today. Some stuff, so I was delayed. Oh, sorry. There must be a mistake. These are my things. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Wait. Is that broccoli Relax, in a fucking tray? What is that? Work. I don't understand. I'm decided. I'm not gonna move alone. We're gonna move together. We're gonna live together in our new house. What? You're taking me with you? I can't leave my first follower. It's kind of getting weird here. Where? And a person who's believed in me from the beginning. How did you know? I'm so sorry, Mom. I was such a brat. I love you so much. My Vivi at 2402. Vivi. <laughs> yeah. GGVP, GGVP. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're, oh, you're a viewer of the stream? Oh, oh, you watch the Fortnite streams? GGWP, GBWP, GGWP? What the fuck? Sorry, I'm a big fan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Bro's like 35. There's no way he's... There's like no way he's watching a Fortnite streamer. Bro's like 35 years old. You're not watching a Fortnite streamer. Maybe like variety streamers. 
That'd be like watching like fucking Among Us streams at like uh, uh, when you have a fucking kid. Jesus. I'm 35. I'm a variety streamer. I don't only stream Fortnite. You don't watch only Fortnite streamers. No 35-year-old man is watching only Fortnite streamers. Like, bro, go at uh, like a 10-viewer Fortnite streamer. What the fuck? Nobody does that. All right. That was a good video. I got to piss. Then we'll go on to the next one. Bro, when does the Fortnite concert start? When should I... Yo, chat, should I queue up like five minutes before it starts? I'm not sitting in a fucking... I'm not sitting in a pregame lobby for like 30 minutes. I don't care that much to try and do that. <gasps> GGWP, GGWP, GGWP. Actually, I'll play this song. Yo, count me down. What song is this? Z uh, Zanadu from Umet Ozkin. All right, next video. Shout out for the 500 bets. I, re I reset the video on the suggestion tab. Look for my username. I'm not watching it today. Uh, I'll check it uh, another day, but it's not a guarantee that I'll watch it on stream. Uh, but thank you for resending it. My dog just ran in. Why is my dog in my room? Oh, my God. I don't know why she just, she followed me. She fucking followed me. Oh, God. I'll just let her walk around. Joe's for the sub. Cash for the 300 bets. He checked her YouTube account and saw her trying to make videos. What do you mean? Mr. Yo-Yo for the 300 bets. For your birthday, go bald and cook crystal meth with Brooke. Yeah, let, let me just pull a Walter White. Cozy for the 500 bets. I got so high I couldn't move. I was playing GTA. It was like sleep paralysis. Oh, you couldn't move at all? Did you even fucking move your controller? Dominic for the 300 bets. Uh, Spike for the sub, uh, and your mom for the fringe bets. All right. On to the next video. Dear Joe Bartolozzi, my week was worse. Or worst. I think they meant worse. Dang. Not a guarantee we watched this whole thing. I think he's duoing off of my YouTube video. Uh, somebody sent this in the Discord where I had the worst week of my life. Or not worst week of my life. Most annoying week where I was talking about my PC and everything. Grandparents' house to spend the holidays until 2022. I go December 24, 2022. I go to my grandparents' house to spend the holidays. So I get there, and we're supposed to fucking get that Christmas thing going, right? But apparently, they just want to sleep at 7 p.m. So I'm like, okay, no problem. We'll have a big lunch tomorrow. No big deal. Big fat lunch. And so 7 p.m., I'm in bed. Why am I in bed? Because they pretty much turn off all kind of heat, uh, heating. What, what is it called? I don't know. Fire. So we go to sleep under like three blankets. The, the, the fucking heater? The, 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 the AC unit? Blankets. I'm on my phone. And suddenly, all I start hearing is, Yo! Yo! Hey, who's that? That's my grandma. Who the fuck wants to go sleep in that room over there? What's that room over there? If the room I was sleeping in was a refrigerator, the other one was Antarctica. 
right? It was like minus three degrees in that other room. And so for half an hour... I like sleeping in the cold. Is that weird? Like, not in the cold like I want to be cold. But, like, when it's very cold in the room and you have a bunch of blankets on, it's usually the best sleep you've ever had. Just because, like, you're cozy as shit. You know what I mean? Like, in the summer, and it's, like, hot, and you wake up, you're like, oh, fuck. Like, let me get out of bed. This shit's annoying. But when it's, like, cold and you're just, like, warm, because you can't get overheated, right? Like, in the summer or the spring or something, like, it gets hot, and you can get overheated under the blankets. In the winter, you can't. In the winter, it's, it's fuck, it's so cold, you're just nice. It's always nice. Hour, my grandma is fucking screaming. And so I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm going to go there. Big mistake. I get to that room and there's five, five to six fucking heavy blankets. The really thick ones. Like this one. I right love here. those. Oh, even, even heavy. I don't even sleep with sheets. Chat, I don't sleep with sheets. Like, I got, I got the bed sheet, obviously, like for the mattress, right? But I, I sleep with two comforters. Is that weird? Like, I don't like the, I don't like the, the sheet. And then the comforter, I just like the comforters. I don't like, bro, that's gross. How's that gross? No, wait, hold up. Bed with just comforters. Like, dude, that's what I, that's how I sleep. Like, hold up. Like this. Like, this is what, okay. Like, you see, you see, this is a comforter. This is another comforter. I have the fitted sheet. I, this is in my bed, by the way. This is a fucking PNG. It's pretty self-explanatory. You know this sheet right here, the one that you put over your body? I don't like that. TS grows because you don't wash your comforters. What is TS? What the fuck are you talking about? I feel like a lot of people do that. The fitted sheet, obviously, because you have to lay on that. But, like, the fucking regular silk sheet, I don't like it. I just like the comforter itself because that's what's warm. The other shit's always cold. Vin run for the three ninja bets. By the degree? What do you mean by the... Oh, Vin run for the three ninja bets. How does Michael Jackson measure his angles? By the degree. Oh, by the degree he. Oh, my God. Cash for the three ninja bets. Unless you're in Florida, then you overheat. Zeta for the three ninja bets. Summer is annoying to sleep in because you overheat. Dude, the, in the summer, I'll sometimes sleep starfished with zero fucking blankets. No lie. Like, just... Just fucking, just baking. Just fucking, because it's so hot. I fucking hate sleeping in the summer. It's annoying. That there's probably, there was probably like 100 kilograms of this shit. I would rather sleep in the cold. I'd rather sleep in the cold than really hot weather. Really hot, bro, it's annoying. Oh my God. Crushed. Especially when like, you know in the summer when it's a really bad storm and your power goes out and it gets fucking hot. Like fucking hot. Like, 80 degrees hot in your fucking room? Oh, my God, no. I can't. And I don't want to sleep. So what do I do? I pull up my phone. And it's sticky. Oh, God, because it's humid. My fucking fingers start start to freeze. Remember, this is Christmas Eve. I'm supposed to fucking, I don't know, have dinner. and be with What about AC units? Buddy, I have AC. Have you ever heard of not wasting money on AC in the summer? The fuck? In the winter, my house is set to 68 degrees. In the summer, my house is set to 73 degrees. Ratio. If, you, if you're pumping 68 degree fucking AC in the summer, bro, you're paying so much, so much for fucking, so much for fucking AC. Friends, family shit. And so my fucking fingers are freezing. And I'm I got 68 in the summer. Yeah, your parents are probably spending a fucking bag on air conditioning. My phone trying to fucking scroll and shit. 72, 72 summer, 68 winter. 10 p.m., internet is off. I start scrolling through my gallery because I have nothing else to do. It's fucking Christmas Eve. I'm not going to In the winter, there. my heat is on 76 degrees. Yeah, you live in a grandparent. You, run a, you live in a grandparent's home, brother. That is way too hot. 76 degrees. That's uncomfortable. At 10 p.m. Then I go to sleep, I wake up tomorrow, and to no one's surprise, I'm sick. And what was I supposed to do on that day? Have a big fat lunch. And now I'm not going to be able to have that. Everybody's there, fucking eating all that. And I'm sitting there, I, I eat one plate, and I'm out.
one plate. Do you know how much I usually eat on that kind of fucking lunch? Four or five plates, minimum. My sickness gets worse. They have a dinner at like 7 p.m. I can't eat shit because I'm, because I'm fucking dead under five blankets. Two days- Bro, last Christmas, I, I got my COVID shot. My second COVID shot right before Christmas Day. On Christmas Day last year, so 2021 Christmas, I was fucking schlumped. I was so, I was literally all day just. I thought I was dying. I thought I was dying because when you get a, when you get your second COVID shot, you usually have all the symptoms and it fucking sucks. See for the three bits. Have you ever worked up uh, one summer morning and you've been drenched in sweat? Yeah. Gabe for the 300 bets. Uh, Joe's for the 500 bets. Your channel probably saved me. Last month was the lowest point of my life. And right now I figured out my ex cheated on me during that time. When I needed her, I had you. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad that I could help. And I'm sorry that you were going through a low month. And fuck your ex for that bullshit. LX. Uh, Kira for the 300 bets. Is it normal to have a big ass rock and see the walls moving and feel the floor fuzzy when you're high? What? Zeta for the 300 bets. Uh, been run for the fringe bets. All right, tidy for the fringe bets. How did you take moving out of your parents' house? Because it's been weird as fuck for me not living with them anymore. I'm 19, by the way. I'm moving out pretty early. You don't live in a college dorm? Oh, wait, you might not be in college. That was a dumb question. <laughs> if you're in an apartment, bro, that's not weird. That's not weird if you're in an apartment. Out X, they're an X for a reason. Now, I'm still, my mom has to sit in 44 degrees in my house and I'm shivering. 44 degrees, that's impossible. What the, what about the Fortnite concert? Yo, I'll, after this video, we'll go on the Fortnite concert, and then we'll come back to react. Days later, we decide to fucking dip, because that place is freezing, right? And I mean, it might be lonely or something, but it, it should be chilling. Tidy, uh, I still, I'm still chilling. I haven't moved out yet. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna initially live in, co uh, at my college campus. Then COVID hit, started streaming, can't live in a college campus. Was gonna buy a house, housing market sucks, can't do that. Uh, so I'm moving in like a year. In like a year, your guy, you guys will see a new Joe Bart uh, scenery. Are you guys ready for that? In about a year or so, you'll see like new walls, new everything. It'll be a new room. It'll be dope. Can't you can't even wash your hands? You, the water is freezing. You'll die. Probably not. But all right, I'm kind of done with this video because we literally are gonna miss the Kid Leroy concert. We'll start. Oh fuck! Is there any short video we could watch before that one starts? Uh, with my commentary, I don't know. Fuck. Fuck, chat. What do we do? Maybe a short horror film? One short horror film, we go on the Kid Leroy concert, and then we go back to regular reacts. How about that? 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 Because the short horror films, I'll be able to get through. Because the concert starts in 10 minutes. The concert starts in 10 minutes. I'm going to fucking miss that shit. We'll do that. We'll do that. Hold up. Bro, where is a fucking short, short horror film? Proof. We'll watch this one. Let me turn the light on. Or light off. Fuck. And then we're going to the Fortnite concert. Cozy for the three. You should roll a joint on stream so we can hear your scream because of how tedious it is. Not if you have cones. You should queue now? Fuck. Should I go now? Should I queue now, chat? And then just mute Fortnite? Just so I don't miss it? Bro, it's gonna be dumb as shit. Can we make an agreement that if it's chill, we'll stay? If it sucks, we leave. We'll do that. Because if, if it's fucking ass and they play, what's that one song that every kid, every motherfucker listens to from Kid Leroy? Wait, where is it? Literally, let me pull. Dude, if, this, if the first song they play is this, we leave. I'm saying that right now. I'm saying that right now. This song? If that's the first song they play, I'm out. I'll be fucked up in me, in me right here. I need a chain. And, oh my god, it's so annoying. Yo, okay, what what fit are we pulling up to the Fortnite concert in? We gotta pull up in a good fit, bro. I don't know what I'm trying to rock. It's copyrighted music, bro. It's not gonna be copyrighted. Pull up in the Agent Peely. Yo, I'm down for that. Yo, where the fuck? Where the fuck is the Kid Leroy concert? Where is it?
Are you blind? What do you mean, am I blind? What do you mean, am I blind? Did you hear about what's going on with Rick and Morty? Yeah, they fired Justin Roiland. The show will keep going on, though. Right there. Bro, the Kid Leroy fight slash update? Is that it? Is this it? Kid Leroy fight? Over to the left. That's not it. Oh my god. Now we gotta pull up Nick A30. Let's pull up the Nick A30 tutorial here, chat. Hold the fuck up. He's probably in the lobby. Whoa, dude, we see stars and like planets. He's, on a, he's sitting on a planet. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see that. <laughs> hey. Oh my god, he's like sitting on a planet. Bro, he's playing back the Travis Scott concert. Oh my god, he's reacting to himself. Dude, where do I fucking go? Where it's in Party Royale? Dude, where the fuck is that? Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking freak out. What is Party Royale? Chat, where do I go? I swear to god, we're about to just continue the reactions if I don't find it in a minute. Is it the Kid Leroy fight? That's definitely not it. 10v10 Batman versus Superman? What the fuck? That is not it. It's by Epic. It's not out yet? Dude. Then let's go back to the fucking reactions. It's by Epic. Where do you go by Epic? By Epic. Battle Royale. Battle Royale. Create a Battle Royale. Save the world. Party Royale. Is it Party Royale? Yes? So am I joining the right thing? And then we'll go back to the reacts. PP Popo for the sub. Dylan for the sub. It's the Batman versus the Superman one? I don't think it is. I really don't think it's the Batman Superman one. I'm going to keep it real. We'll switch the category to Fortnite after I go to, after we do this react. Actually, we'll change it now. Fortnite concert. All right, this shit's dumb as fuck. I already know this shit's about to be dumb as fuck. If it's anything like that Diplo one, anybody remember that Diplo one? That one sucked dick. The fucking rave one they had, oh my god, it was unbearably bad. Bro, where's Kid Leroy? Where the fuck am I? Is that Kid Leroy? Is this gonna be the stage? Is this the stage up here? It sucked for real, you're not in it? Bro, is this not it? Why the fuck are all these kids here if this is not it? It's a code? You have to join the code? Bro, then I'm leaving. Yo, somebody... Yo, one of my mods send it to me when we have it. I'm going back to Reacts real quick. He's not in it. Nikki 30s not in it. We're going to this... We'll go to this, this React real quick. Proof. Sure are film. I'm going to invite you to the party and then I'll find it. All right. Invite me. Crucible, for the love of God, invite me. I'm freaking out, man. All right. We're starting this video. It should be a code. I got to hop on real quick. All right. Just let me know. Oh, do we crack the G Fuel now? Oh, that's the part. That's the code chat. My whole chat's sending this fucking code in. There's no way it's a fucking code. Island code. Oh, Kid Leroy's wildest dreams. Jump into the Kid Leroy's wild dream island featuring new songs. I, yo, we might, we might, we might dip from this. I'm going to go, I'm going to go. I'm not even going to move from just chatting. I'm, I'm not even going to move from just chatting. We'll, we'll stay in it. We'll stay in it, but I'm going to tab out and see how dumb it looks. It looks dumb as shit, chat. I'm going to keep it real. 
Look for the three inch bits. Nick A30's presence just pisses me off to the maximum degree. Bro, this is going to take 10 years to fucking load into. And I got to fucking turn my light back on. Jesus Christ. This doesn't seem worth it. Bro, I don't know. This just seems weird. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? Oh. Is this it? Is this it? Not a good look, bro. This shit looks fucking awful. This shit looks dumb as hell. It's starting in five seconds. It starts in an hour. It starts in three minutes. This is a creative island someone made. Bro, what is happening? Oh my god, am I in a fucking game? What am I doing? This is so- I can't leave! What is this? Epilepsy warning? What is happening? This is it. No, this is it, chat. I'm at the right spot. Nah, this is it. This isn't it? Bro, this looks just like it. Is this it? Is that it? Don't tell me that's it. Bro, is that it? That's fucking awful. That's fuck. OG bear pickup truck. Get me the- what the fuck? Dude, was that it? No. Bro, oh my god. Dude, it starts in a minute. Let me go on Nick A30's fucking stream. Dude, that, no, that had to be, bro, and, and, yo, no, Dante's in it, too. If that's it! Oh, my I, God, he's queuing for the same thing. He's queuing for the same thing. That shit was so dick. That shit was so dick, dude. Oh, my. Quest in it? look at me, we know what it is. No need to speak. I guess it's love. I mean, if you think about it, this is a Marshall concert, but it's better. When I look at you, basically, yeah, yeah, the environment's nice. Oh, oh you're are you not even open? Bro's having the time of his life. Dude, I need to say what Dante's about to say. I need to hear what Dante's about to say about this shit. Master, master. This, bro, he's about to say this is the worst thing ever. Bro, there's no way Dante likes this. There's no way Dante goes into this and he's like, yeah, this is the shit. Bro, Nick A30's bumping, bro. Oh sure. my God. Is this you? you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because when I look Which one? You, you look at me. We know what it is. He's got pretty no good music. Yeah. I'm ready for stay though. For stay. Yeah. That, I mean, that no damn way. He said he's ready for the one song I didn't want to hear. Buddy is so ready for that one song I don't want to fucking hear, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, bro. That's the one song. What is this on my screen? Uh. 
<laughs> Yo, Dante's about to shit on uh -oh. this. There's no way. There's no way he says that's good, bro. No, he's actually vibing. Whoa, look at the edge of the mouth Welcome, punch. Friend. Are you fucking kidding me? It gets cool when I leave. Oh, that's not even cool. Oh, no, that's not even cool. Dollar mansion. I thought it was gonna get cool like the Travis Scott one. Nah. Start smashing? Start smashing. Oh wow. I said some things about you and I said some things that you should No, but like, you know, bro, while he's playing this. There has to be, like, in his mind, he's probably, like, he's smiling and laughing, but in his mind, he's probably saying, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. I'm hitting Q! It's not working! Oh, my God, this concert sucks already! <laughs> <laughs> Chat, nothing's working! Uh, I already knew he was going to say, bro. Why is he trying to build? I just... Nah, this shit sucks. Can we go back to reactions, chat? This shit blows. This shit fucking blows. Dude, I love Fortnite too, bro. This shit, no, this is not it. This is not it. This concert. Oh, my God. CDL for the fucking two subs. Joe's for the three events. Most ghetto Fortnite event. No, no. The, the, the fucking rave one was worse. The Travis Scott one was fire. Anybody show up? The Diplo one, I remember I did off stream. I don't even think I streamed then. Bro, that shit was whack. Look at this. What is happening? We're gonna kill us! Wait, we don't wanna die. We don't wanna die. We don't wanna die. Oh my god, I'm 50 HP. I'm dead, bud. Yo, he dies and kicks him from the lobby. Bro, I will die laughing. I will die laughing. Oh my god. I died. Wait, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. You better respawn. I died. It kicked me from the lobby. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I don't. I don't even want to see this shit. They're trying to make it look a bit cooler. Like it does look like it's getting somewhat better. But when I look at you, nah, bro. Do we hop back in? Fuck. I don't want to restart, dude. I kind of want to see how it pans out, though. I kind of want to see how it pans out, though. I don't. I really don't want to hop back in. I don't want, bro. I'll I'll check Nick A thirty stream in like in like ten minutes, and I'll see if it's still going. All right, hold up. Let's go to the next reaction because I'm not fucking. I am not fucking with that. All right. <laughs> the Travis Scott one was better. Yeah, no shit, bro, dude. There's no way. There's no way this is like a thirty minute concert. Bro's, bro's doing the flying emote. I think this video is more in the animation, like when we're looking at the um, actual video of him. That's, I think that's where it's invested, right? Oh, it's like right? the music. Well, yeah, yeah the music maybe. Video. Hey, everyone's back together. And they're showing like creative maps. Yeah. We gotta play the musical consoles. Growing up, I used to want to be my Uncle Wayne. Until I saw his body laying in the grave. Rest in peace. Growing up, I used to want to change the Wrangler. You can change so, it. So I got to drive a range. That rhythm in that fucking song is so ass. That rhythm in that song is so ass, dude. Oh my god. See how it goes clean? Yeah. Until I met Ben Franklin. I'm writing this from a place that you ain't heard about. And you can only come in through the word of mouth. That's real. Nah. Hey! No damn way J Dante's enjoying that shit. Well, I think he likes the music. The actual fucking event itself is whack as hell. That is not a dub. I'm going to say that right now. That is not a dub. Dude, is JoJo on that shit? Nah. Hold up. All right, no, nah, he's not live anymore. All right. Nah, we're going... Or I'm, I'm going back to fucking... I'm going back to fucking reacts, chat. We're going back to just chatting, bro. Yo, mods. Yo, manifest. I know it's you, you little fuck. 
Stop changing my fucking stream title. Buddy named it Big Roach Reacts to Videos. Fuck off. It was Crucible? Okay. It's been me every time. Has it really? Whoa, for the sub. Dude, I thought it was Manifest every time. There's no way. All right. I'm going back. I'm going back to reactions. Dude, I don't even care. I don't, I don't, I don't even care about that event. I thought it would be cool. I mean, it's not, it doesn't look that bad. Like, it looks like they tried to make it better, but, like, nah. It's not, It's definitely not as far as the, the Travis Scott one. All right. Next video. Uh, I met Mr. Beast. Sophie from France. I'm already calling Cap. And my story, you'll have to see to believe. My life... All right, now I got to crack a Jeef, too. I said I was going to crack a Jeef. I got to crack a Jeef. I'm on mobile, you fuck. Dude, I said it wasn't you. I, I know it's Crucible. Watch the horror video first. We'll end with those. We'll end with those. Yo, big Jeef. Big Jeef. Big Jeef moment. Clickbait. Top three flavor for me now. Woo for the sub. Life was brilliant. I grew up in a vineyard and my parents worked super hard to make it a worldwide success. Even though they were super busy, they made sure I got the best things in life. I've just bought you a pony. You can take him out on rides around the property. Do you want to get a puppy too? We were super rich, but I didn't care about that. I was homeschooled to take over the family business, but I spent most of my time going on adventures with my best friend, Luke. He was the son of our surveyor, Mr. Duran, and a major scaredy cat, but he never said no to my crazy plans, even when they landed us in trouble. Come on, Luke. Let's go to the lake and search for sea monsters. Are you crazy? We'll catch you cold. And besides, it's How the hell was this going to I Met Mr. Beast? How in the fuck is this going to end up with I Met Mr. Beast? Oh my god. The, you're talking about river monsters with your best friend Luke. This is the most boring, dumbass story I've ever heard in my entire life. Hence the rules. My god, this is like when this is like when your grandpa tells you a fucking story. And they start... Like, they'll tell you a story about, like, yesterday, and they have to give you a whole life backstory about that shit. Oh, my God. Joe's left nut, uh, or Joe's left ass cheek for the 300 bets. Uh, Michael for the 300 bets. Rule schmools. If there was a rule against sneezing, your head would explode from keeping them in. And you'd pick your nose just to tick people off. No, we're not going to the lake, and that's final. But I never took no for an answer. So I jumped over the fence and went running towards the lake. And <laughs> poor Luke had to follow, but I stopped short. I was... don't give a fuck. I clicked on this video for Jimmy. I clicked on this video for Mr. Fucking Beast. Saw a couple of village boys throwing rocks at a beehive. Hey, leave those poor bees alone. Bro, I'm... Li Let's admit it. We all need a friend like Bella. Jesus Christ. What's it to you, princess? Go back- Go back to the concert? It's over. It's all me now. It's all me now. It sounds better than the- it sounds, That sounds better than the way. Hey! Hey, there it is! Yo! He's here. Stay, fun. Stay. I do Look the at the characters down below. I told you that I never I would. I told you I changed. Even when I knew I never could. Know that I can't find nobody else as good as you. I need that song irks me now. It was good, and then every motherfucker played it nonstop for fucking so long. That song pisses me off now. When I hear Stay, I do the same, and it's so upbeat, too. Dude, it's like hearing Happy by Pharrell. That pisses me off. This is the only song that's worse. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. I hate that song. I fucking hate that song. Because it's from the dumbass Minion movie. Oh my god. Fuck Despicable Me. Literally. No. Parker for the thousand biddies. I think the person I punched is a pussy. What? To your stupid grape juice farm. Sophie, we need to head back now. No. Happy by Pharrell is a good song. I'll take. Dude, you're telling me. You're telling me on a casual day, you jam out to Happy by Pharrell. On like, on like a regular, you know, like a regular Wednesday.
You really jam out to that? Bro. No. It's nostalgic. It's not nostalgic. Josh for the sub. Oh, you should go back to school and learn how important bees are. Dude, it's overplayed. If it wasn't overplayed, it would be a good song. Yeah, it would be decent. If it, yeah, I agree. I agree, Retrora. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Dude, that and fucking uh, Stay. Stay is an okay song, at most. At most, it's an okay song. For the environment. He, I'm not dissing Kid Leroy, too. He makes some good music, but Stay is not his best song. What, Luke? Those aren't bees, Sophie. They're hornets. Just then, a rock tore through the nest, and all the hornets flew out, and they were pissed. But instead of going after the village brat- And they killed Luke! They stung him 45 times, and he had a fucking hornet allergy, and they killed him! They attacked Luke and me. We ran for our lives, but we got stung so much that by the time we got home, our faces resembled beach balls, and it hurt. And Luke went ballistic. I told you we shouldn't go. You never listen to me. Dude, how does this have to do with Mr. Beast? I'm sick and tired of being your babysitter. Babysitter? The stings really mess with your head. I'm your friend. Friends listen to each other. You're not my friend. Your parents hired me to keep you out of trouble. No! No! You, oh my god, he's your friend for money. He's your friend for money. Oh my god, that fucking sucks. Bro, you're a friend for a hire. Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. I would diss her. That's so crazy. Now I kind of feel bad, dude. Luke, stop it. We're honored to serve in any capacity. You might be, but I'm not. She's a reckless maniac. I'm sick of getting hurt because of her. I quit. Mom, what's going on? Sweetie, you're an- Sweetie, no one likes you. Sweetie, sweetie, no one likes you. Your personality is really dislikable, right? And so we had to hire this man named Luke. We give him $1,000 a week to be your friend. Adventurer, and we didn't want to hold you back. And Luke was the perfect balance to your hyper-personality. So we paid him to keep you safe. We were only doing what was best for you. You think this is best for me? My entire relationship was a lie. What else have you been lying about? Are you two even my parents or is someone paying you too? I stormed off to my room. And, and that's how she became a flat earther. And that's how she started delving down the conspiracy theories. Pizzagate. The moon landing's fake. The earth is flat. Regardless of whether or not any of them are real. That's how she became a flat earther. And didn't speak to anyone for days. Luke left for the city without saying goodbye, and I felt humiliated that I was such a loser. No one would be my friend if I wasn't rich. Mom and Dad arranged playdates with other kids, but it wasn't the same. Every day I missed Luke, and every day I hated him more. But things at the vineyard got worse. Our wine what sales- What age 10 years? You miss your childhood friend 10 years in the future? Joe, look at the concert. Oh my god, I swear to god, this is the last time looking at that fucking Kid Leroy concert. Last time. Last time. And cheer for me! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. I need that song. I need that one song. I mean, all the songs is fire. Is it already over? And then move left and right, and it goes green wherever you are. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, you're like a DJ. Is it already over? Or is he just loading? Oh my god, welcome to the after party. Relive the Kid Leroy's biggest songs from the what? Yeah, back to React. Went down, and then a freak storm destroyed more than half the vineyard. We had nothing left, and the bank seized the family estate. Suddenly, we How long was that? Like, 10 minutes? That concert was, like, actually 15 minutes. And what is the, af is the after party just the same thing over and over again? Uh, the after party is literally just a fucking, like, a little parkour room with, like, him. And then it just plays his songs. No. 
We were homeless. Don't worry, darling. As long as we're together, we'll be fine. The Durans have invited us to stay with them for a while. Stay with Luke? But he hates us. Beggars can't be choosers, love. And it's been years. I'm sure he's over all that. It'll be cramped in their small house, but it's temporary. She pulls up ten years later. Don't think I forgot when you got my face stung with hornets. But my jaw nearly <sighs> fell to the floor when I saw their house. It was a mansion with fountains in the garden. Mr. and Mrs. Durand had made a fortune by making the right investments and were super nice. But Luke, I had to blink hard because I couldn't believe how handsome he'd become. His eyes were still as green as I remembered, and the small dimple still appeared near his lips when he smiled. Suddenly... Where's Jimmy? Is Luke Mr. Beast? Is that supposed to be... Is, is Luke gonna be Mr. Beast? He reached out and touched my hair. You've still got bugs in your hair. Oh, thanks. I didn't know it was there. <sighs> I guess I'm a real bug magnet. Yeah, you always did attract the creepy crawlers. Um, that was weird, but at least he wasn't angry or rude. That After was lunch, I was strolling around trying to let out a quiet burp when suddenly I slipped and fell in the pool. Strong arms pulled me out of the water, and I was face to face with Luke. With Jimmy! It was Mr. Beast staring me in the eyes. He held me tight and he offered me $10,000. With Luke, and to my complete humiliation, I burped in his face like a bullfrog. <laughs> I thought you had changed, but I still have to save you from yourself. And I'm sick of it. Hey, it was an accident. Once a troublemaker, always a troublemaker. Mom, you better hide the good plates or she'll break them in a freak accident. Luke, that's enough. Whatever. I have homework to do anyway. Mr. and Mrs. Durand apologized for Luke's behavior, but I didn't want to be a burden. I spent the night thinking of several business plans to get us back on our feet, but we just didn't have the money. A week later, I was waiting at the bus stop. How did they lose all of their money in, like, a month? <laughs> like, I, like, I don't understand how this is even fucking panning out. She said they were rich as shit. They were so rich they had a vineyard that was doing amazing, and then it crashed. You didn't save money? You were making millions of dollars and your parents paid for you to have a friend. You have one bad vineyard year and then you fucking lose everything. You don't have like investments like the fucking other family. When suddenly a sports car raced by me, drenching me with muddy water. Hey, watch where you're going. I am so- It was Jimmy. Sorry, I didn't see you there. You oh my God, where's Jimmy? Where's Jimmy? That's the only thing I want to fucking see. You're headed to school, right? Let me give you- uh, Parker for the sub, Jeff for the sub, Parker for the thousand biddies. Uh, P-S-H for the three inch bits. Would you rather toot in an elevator or shit in your pants? I would rather fart in an elevator. What do you mean, sh like, shit my pants alone? Or fart in an elevator? Fart in an elevator. Pleb C for the five inch bits. Been watching the stream more, uh, now that I have the time. Wanted to say keep it up, W streamer, have a good weekend. And there's no way any of these videos are real stories. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, I think of the 500 bets. Drew for the five uh, says I identify as a dinosaur and Guo for the 500 bets or 350 bets. These cartoon videos are cringe as fuck. Oh, I know. That's why we watch them now. You're right. And we can get you cleaned up. My name is Bella and I'm kind of a big deal there. You should stick with me because you're obviously new and... Dude, second, second I get in a car and somebody immediately tells me they're a big deal, I'm getting out of the car. If I meet somebody and they in, in the first five sentences, they tell me they're a big deal and that they matter... I'm, I'm immediately leaving. I'm immediately telling me, I don't give a fuck about you. Bye. See you later, dude. Uh, no no damn way you intro that with, yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. Don't mind me saying so, but you look like you got dressed in the dark. Um, I just moved here from the village. OMG. Love the that. The village. For you, I've always been a city girl. Last year when we went to my family's... Bella talked nonstop till we got to the school. And by the time we were sitting in first period, I knew her entire life story. She was an only child. Her mom and dad were rich politicians. I don't care. I don't care. I literally don't care. I know her. She's the family friend I told you about. The reckless one. Even turtles look reckless to a chicken like you. Guys, do you know what this means? We can be besties together. Bella was the sweetest girl imaginable. She didn't care whether I was rich or poor. She just liked me for me and took me everywhere with her. She doesn't even know you. She, you didn't get a talk at all. She likes you because you don't talk. She likes you because you let her talk. 
You're a fucking brick wall for her. Jesus Christ. She, you haven't said a damn word to her. She doesn't know anything about you. She knows your name. That's it. Even on dates. Oh, wow, babe. This is such a cute bracelet. But you know I'm allergic to pink. But it looks so cute on you, Sophie. OM Squee, you should totally have OM it. OM Squee? Holy shit, I'm punching them in the face. OM Squeegee, Jesus Christ, who says that? Bella, you're crazy. Luke got this for you. I don't mind. See? Our boyfriend doesn't mind. Put it on her, If Luke. Jimmy's not in this video, I'm disliking it. I do like it. We're halfway through. Our boyfriend? What was going on? My skin tingled as his fingers touched my skin. And Luke stared into my eyes. He was oddly sweet when we weren't at home. And rather than get jealous, Bella clapped and cheered. They were the weirdest couple I'd ever met. But Bella thought I was the weird one. What do you mean you've never read Shakespeare? I was only taught things that would help me run a vineyard. Like, that is Hollyroot and will help you with fevers. And that thing you're taking- How does that help you run a vineyard? How does that help you run a vineyard? You're, you're growing grapes for wine. You're making wine. That's what you do. That's your job. All you need to know about is wine. Why the fuck do you need to know what poison ivy is? Bravo. Taking a selfie with is poison ivy. Yikes. Hey, you should make TikToks. OMG, this is the best idea I've ever had. We can go on nature walks, and you can talk about what's poisonous and what isn't. Incredibly, Bella's idea was a hit. I went No, it would never be a hit. In no world would that ever be a hit. Somebody walking in a fucking yard, and over here, you'll see the poop root. It smells like shit, but it actually is really good for your skin. Uh, and moving over here, we'll see poison ivy. Ooh, scary. Like, nobody gives a shit. That is the most boring video ever. And people in school started calling me Nature Girl. I even started getting sponsors, and one day, my fans challenged me to participate in Mr. Beast's Squid Game. The contest was tough, and as expected, many people joined the fight. I did my best to win the game. Your friends don't no your fucking fans don't nominate you. Jimmy has to pick you. But I lost during the tug of war. And St then they shot me in the face. No, it was the best adventure I had ever done. I made tons of new friends as well. Not to mention, seeing Mr. Beast personally is the coolest. My heart jumped when I saw him heading my way. Hi there. It's not that cool. I like, yo, Jimmy's chill as fuck. Like, I genuinely think Jimmy's one of the coolest guys I've ever met. But like, it's not like I I met him. It's he's uh, he's a person. It's it's Jimmy. It's like like people like like that's just parasocial. Just hyping the shit out of that. Like you. Oh, what's up, Jimmy? We'll have a regular conversation with you. Then you fucking leave. Like it's not. He's an, he's just a nice dude. Who does YouTube for a living. He's pretty cool, yeah. But, like, he's a person. He's not, like, some fucking demigod. Thank you for joining our version of Squid Game. You were great. Thank you, Mr. Beast. We all had a blast, even though we lost. Just being part of your content alone is an experience of a lifetime. <laughs> well, making people happy. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Since you got out in round one, it looks like you're not even going to really be in the video. You're probably going to be in a five-second segment of the Squid Games. He got out pretty quick. Be is what my content is. They didn't even interview you one time because you were so scared to talk to them. Is all about. I'm glad you had fun. I really did. And it's been quite a long while since I had fun like this. Really? Why is that? Well, sometimes life could get rough all of a sudden. Things happen without warning. <sighs> that is so true. But no matter what- That is not how Jimmy talks. I already know this is a fake video. I already know this is a fake video. Because that is- n In no world would would Mr. Beast ever say that shit. And what the fuck? That is so facts. That is so true. But you know, my, life sometimes gives you rotten lemons. And you still gotta make lemonade about it. Like what? Never stop walking the road to happiness. He would never say that. He would never say that. Never forget the quote. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Nope. 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 He might tell you about how he dropped out of college and had a whole life journey on being a social media influencer. He would never give you that whack-ass quote. I felt my eyes sting as Mr. Beast gave me a hug. Yep, never doing that either. <laughs> Yo, this is the fakest story I've ever seen. Dislike, dude. Oh my god, this shit is so fake. He's- I know this didn't happen. 
And just like what Mr. Beast said, I never stopped walking the road to happiness. I kept on seeking adventure, teaching my fans about plants through TikTok. Bella supported me 100%. Eventually, the money I got from my sponsors were used to set up a small grocery shop in the city. And little by little, we were saving up to move out. Life was getting better. You made enough money to open a grocery store? Dude, that probably costs like $3 million. Luke's uh. behavior at home was getting worse and worse. He was rude to his parents and ignored them all the time. One time- <laughs> Dude, I gotta see, like, imagine Mr. B's comments on this. Yo, this shit's so fucking cap. I never met this woman in my entire life. <laughs> How did they even come up with these videos? Like, if they're fake, I feel like they could be even better. You know what I mean? I feel like this, it's like a real-ish story. Like, why not make it more, like, extravagant? Um, Mrs. Durand asked them to pass the bread. The new Mr. Beast video just got released. You're lying. You're lying. Oh, stop capping to me. Fazbear from the sub here for the three bets. I looked away from my screen to talk to my stepdad for 10 minutes. Come back and I see Mr. Beast in some anime tomfoolery. Yeah. Chloe for the thousand biddies says one in the Darman. Literally. Uh, Drew for the five. Oh, I already read that. Nah, the new video's not out yet. I know it, he had the next two videos he has, because he mentioned it in this video. It's the burger video and the, the curing blindness. It's either mine's first and then the other one, or the blindness one first and then the uh, and then the burger one. I don't know when it's coming out though. And he accidentally dumped them. Somebody said you missed my bits from 30 minutes ago. I live in Memphis, and we've been having riots tonight because of uh, the Tyree Nichols situation, but I'm going to be playing Fortnite tonight, so I hope nothing happens. Sweaty Panda for the Fringe Bets. I'm sorry there's a bunch of riots going on, but I mean, I I've heard a little bit about that situation. My girlfriend knows about it more than me, because I know she's been posting about it, too. I saw it on the news right before I went live. Wanting for the Fringe Bets. What is your opinion on the baby wipe, on using baby wipes to wipe? Baby wipes to wipe your ass? Just use toilet paper. You're using, like, disinfectant wipes to wipe your shit? What? I'm all on the floor. What is wrong with you? That's no way to behave with your parents. You have no idea what you're- Bro, this video had Jimmy in it for all of 30 seconds. Like, it didn't even have to do with Jimmy. Talking about. Stay out of it, please. This isn't you, Luke. You used to be so sweet and caring, even if you were pretending. His eyes softened, but then he shook his head and pushed past me. I'm not the boy you used to know. It's okay, Sophie. It's just a phase. I didn't get what his problem was. He it's had not a phase, Mom. It's a lifestyle. Everything he could ever want. Loving parents, a roof over his head, and a great girlfriend. But things with Luke and Bella were getting weirder. The old- You just don't get me, Mom. You just don't understand how I am. Feelings were coming back and made me nervous. You don't get the real rock punk vibe, Mom. It's a lifestyle. So when Dad announced we'd be moving to our own apartment at the end of the month, I was relieved, but also bittersweet. Late one night, I was packing up my things for the move when I heard footsteps on the roof. I freaked out and picked up a baseball bat to investigate. There was so much crime in the city. We never had this problem in the village. What if there was more than one burglar? But it was only Luke. You scared the farts right out of me. Oh. Who the fuck would say that? That is, dude, bro, that's the most loser thing to ever... Like, like, yo, that's, I, I'm not even trying to be a dick. That's like the most loser thing to fucking say. You scared the farts out of me? Say you almost made me shit my pants. Like that, like, just say that. You scared the farts out of me. What is with this girl and farts? Like half of this fucking video, she farted over here initially when she was by the pool and met him because she was nervous or some shit. She burped. Like, well, what is with this? Oh, great. Just what I need. A damsel in distress. I'm the one holding the bat, smart Alec, and I was always smart the- Smart Alec. Oh my god. 
I'm kicking her off the roof. I'm kicking her off the roof. Brave one, while you were scared of your own shadow. I sure was a coward back then. Remember that time you could got a fart kink too, Jesus. Sleep and you made me push all those sheep from a fence so you could count them. They were goats and farmers. This is this is definitively the worst my story animated I have seen thus far. Jack was so mad. He made a shovel horse poop for weeks. You have to admit, it was fun pretending to be my friend. I was never pretending. He looked at me like there was so much he wanted to tell me, but he couldn't. His lips were so close, and my heart beat like crazy. I wanted him to say more, but I also wanted him to shut up and kiss me. But Luke pulled Jesus away suddenly. Jesus Christ. Dude, what am I watching? Twilight right now? Oh my fucking god. The cringe level is just peaking. I'm like, I'm getting mad. Looking angry. Forget it. You won't understand. Had I almost kissed- What the fuck? This video had nothing to do with Mr. Beast. My best friend's boyfriend? What was wrong with me? It was a good thing we were moving out in a few days anyway. On our last day in the house, Mr. and Mrs. Durand held a farewell party for Dude, us. Dude, I hope this video ends with Mr. Beast blowing up their house for a video or some shit. They invited all their friends, including Bella and her parents, and held a mini promotion of our little grocery store and even showed my videos on a big screen. Luke looked handsome in a suit, but I had to look away. I still felt guilty about the other night and confused by his hot and cold attitude. But suddenly, he was standing right in front of me. Hey, wanna dance? I shouldn't. Why? Do you think you'll trip and fall? No. Then come on. He whirled me onto the dance floor, and I felt like I was dancing on air. It was magical and thrilling. Then his lips came close, and all the voices in my head fell silent. But the music suddenly- Yo, you know how- you know a problem I have? Like, people have this expectation in relationships. You know what I mean? Like, people that watch just so many goddamn romantic movies and so many Disney movies, and they just think they're gonna get lifted off their feet in a fucking golden carriage, and they're gonna get- they're gonna get pulled off, and it's just gonna be the most magical thing in the world. Oh my fucking god, dude. Holy shit. Suddenly stopped. Luke, what are you doing? Bella's parents are watching. You should be dancing with her, not- The poor grocery girl? Yes. Sophia can't bring you any connections or wealth. I'm sorry, dear, but we have to think of Luke's future, and that is with Bella. I was so shocked, my mouth fell open. My parents were furious. Is this how you feel about us? Why did you invite us to stay with you? Why throw us this party? Because they want to rub in your faces how rich they are now. They always envied you, and they didn't throw you this party. Bella and I- Well, to be fair, to be fair, if they were that rich and they lost all their money in a month, they had to make some of the worst financial decisions you've ever fucking seen. Or save zero dollars, right? Like one of the two. They had to be living paycheck to paycheck on million dollar paychecks. Or they saved zero dollars. Wait, no, that's the same thing. Or they just lost all the money in some investment or some shit. Space for the sun. Arsenal for the three inch bitties. Just got back from the gym. I'm um, taking a good ass shit. I uh, wanted to point out you gave me inspiration to hit the gym. Big dubs. Uh, I'm glad that you're going to the gym now, and I'm glad I gave you the inspiration for that. Bra Hype and Lil Uriel for the sub. Uh, Scarcore for the Thringe Bits. When are you playing a horror game again? Thursday. Uh, Thursday, we're doing Unbans and Toilet Chronicles, which is like a horror slash comedy game. We'll see how it is. Uh, then I have another one that I'm going to be playing too soon that I just uh, downloaded. I don't remember the name, though. One Inc. for the Thringe Bits. Uh, I already read that. Space for the sub. I did. It was all Luke's idea. He's been planning this party for weeks. I just helped with the decorations. Suddenly, all the guests left saying they were disgusted, and Mr. and Mrs. Durand looked panicked. And I looked down, and I had soiled my pants. I couldn't keep in my farts any longer. I held them in for years. I, sh I shit so much that it went over. It was, it was so bad. What's going on? I'm so confused. Let me explain. When we were kids, I loved being your friend. You were awesome and brave, but my parents wanted to cash in on that friendship and started charging your parents for protection services. I hated it. We did it for you, son, so you could have everything rich kids had. I never wanted any of that. And even here in the city, you insisted I date rich girls so you can make con- Dude, the only thing I wanted that rich kids had was a hoverboard. That was when I was young, right? Like, I mean, I got money now because I do social media, right? But, like, when I was young and I, like, I had, like, a fucking PS2 and everybody else had, like, a PlayStation and all, or, like, a, a newer PlayStation all that shit, I didn't even give a fuck about that, right? 
Like, all I wanted was a goddamn hoverboard. That was the only thing I wanted. And, you know, one of the first things that I almost bought when I started making social media money was a hoverboard. But then I actually contemplated on it, and I said, wow, I'm glad I didn't have one of these, because these are the stupidest fucking things you could ever own. Hoverboards are fucking useless. You never use them. What are you going to do? Just fucking ride around your goddamn house? Nobody's going on a fucking stroll on a hoverboard because it's fucking bumpy. They're ass. They suck. They're useless. They're a waste of fucking money. Scarcore for the three Japans. This is the most atro atrocious piece of media that I've ever laid my eyes on. I'm not reading every single revolting word that you wrote. Vicious, disgusting, heinous, nefarious. Oh my god. Buddy used the dictionary for that one. Space for the sub. Connections with their parents. You two have always used me for your own gain, and I'm sick of it. And look what it got you. You have luxury cars. You live in a mansion. But I can't be with the girl I love. I thought you two were in love. I'm a cheerleader and he's a jock. We had to date. It's like in the Bible or something. But we were never in love. In the Bible? In a religious text. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 316. Jocks and cheerleaders must date. In love? And when I saw how much you two loved each other, you knew? Always. Why do you think I kept leaving you two alone when we hung out? You two are super cute together. Can you ever forgive me for being such a jerk and not getting in touch sooner? I thought you hated me. I did, but only because I missed you so much. Oh, Jesus I'm Christ. never going to leave you now. Me either. Best friends? The bestest. And he kissed me, and it was everything. Then they got married and divorced a year later. Happily ever after. I'd imagine. Done with that shit. Bro, Mr. Beast was in maybe 30 seconds of that goddamn video. And it was the most unrealistic fucking Mr. Beast thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That did not happen. Fuck that video. L video. Literally. Oh my god. Alright, I gotta go piss real quick. Then we're gonna go on to the bank robbery video. This one's gonna be fire as shit. Alright, hold up. Any, did anybody realize that I remembered to turn the lava lamp on early because it's working? Did anybody, did anybody realize that I took the time to remember that the lava lamp had to go on two hours before stream? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Upsetting. Next video. How bankrupt? Oh, fuck. Oh. Ah! You should play Five Nights at Freddy's Joy of Creation one day. It's not like the other ones where you just sit around in a chair doing jack shit. Just putting it out there, though. Can you send the Steam link on Discord and I'll check it out? Not a guarantee I play that shit, but holy fuck. I think I've seen clips of Speed playing it. Is it the one where you move around? If so, maybe. But I really don't want to play, like, the base FNAF games. But oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god, Scarcore. Scarecore, Scarcore. 20,000 fucking bits. 276,028 total bits. Yeah, why, why 28? I feel like that's such a random number. Anyways, 20, 276,028 bits total to the fucking channel. Scarcore, Scar, fuck, Scarcore for the 20,000 bitties. Can't even fucking pronounce your name right. Oh my God. Thank you for the 20,000 bits, bro. Oh my God.
That is so many fucking bits. Massive dub in the chat for that, dude. Thank you. I'll check out Joy of Creation. I looked at other FNAF games in the past. I just don't want to play the regular FNAFs because they're all the fucking same. Uh, if Joy of Creation looks good and it's different than the rest, I might play it. But Thursday, we're definitively playing Toilet Chronicles and an unbanned stream. And then we might play another short horror game after that. Because I think Toilet Chronicles is like an hour and a half. Uh, but we'll see. But Scarcore, dude, thank you for the 20,000 bets. I, I genuinely appreciate that. That's so many fucking bitties. VRT for the 300 bets. I buy bits and I can't donate them. Uh, contact Twitch support. And I mean, it just worked right now. Uh, I got those. Uh, VR, VRT, think of the fucking bets. And uh, Scarcore, bro. Think of the fucking uh, 20,000 bitties, man. That's insane. My name's Kane Vincent Dyer. Oh, shit. Next video. How bank robbers actually work. My name's Kane Vincent Dyer, and I robbed over 100 banks between 1999 and 2001. This is how crime... How did you not get caught? You robbed 100 banks. In the early 2000s, too. In, like, two years. Crime works. For anyone out there that is watching this and you think you're going to go commit bank robberies the way I did or I'm telling you in here, you're going to find yourself in jail. Leave bank robbery alone. So Chloe for the five gifted. Thank you, Chloe Turner, for the five gifted subs. Mirek for the sub. And Damage for the fucking sub. Chloe, thank you for the five gifted. Appreciate that. Big dub in the chat there. Thank Chloe if you got a sub and thank you for the fucking five gifted. I just spit on my mic. Quick clean. Uh, thank you for the five gift. It's Chloe and Scarcore again, bro. Thank you for the 20,000 bitties. Uh, that is a shitload of bits. Uh, mobile for the sun. So one of the things that I would do initially when I walk into a bank is walk in. Scarcore for the 300 bits. You can watch some gameplay off stream. Okay. Go straight to the merchant teller because I always knew that the merchant teller would more than likely have the most amount of. How do they confirm that he that he did this, right? Like, did he go to jail? Because, like, I could literally, like, 20 years from now, I could be like, my name's Joe Bartolozzi, and I successfully robbed over a thousand banks, and here's how. Like, how are they going to fact, if I never got caught, how are they going to fucking fact check whether or not I actually robbed a thousand banks? Let's see. We've watched so many movies where people are like, hey, put your hands in the air. I think people naturally go to do that when they hear, hey, this is a robbery. The reasoning for me asking them to put their hands down or telling them to put their hands down is because you didn't want someone walking past the bank and seeing someone standing in a bank with their hands up or laying on the floor. So it was always just put your head down Keep looking forward. That way, if someone did walk into the bank, they wouldn't even really realize what was going on until they were. That is so untrue. If I'm robbing, bro, how did he even get away with that? If I robbed a bank and I'm like, all right, I got a gun. Everybody, everybody keep your head down. Act casual. Give me the money. Somebody walks in. First thing I'm saying, if I'm fucking, if I'm a pedestrian, I'm saying, uh, somebody's robbing the bank right now. You might want to fucking leave, right? Like, you're not going to just walk in and go to the bank teller. Like, everything's fucking casual. Already in it. And what that would kind of do is it would let me read the temperature of the room. It would let me see if the people were either very compliant or very slow to move or... If they seem nervous and scared, then I, I, I would kind of tailor how I would express myself after that, trying to be more calming and, you know, unfortunately. Be more calming? If I, yo, chat, how are y'all robbing a bank? If I had to rob a bank, like a casual bank, I'm walking in. I got a ski mask on, by the way, and a water gun because I'm not going to get a real gun, but I'm going to paint the water gun black, right? I got a water gun. I'm walking in. I got a fucking, I got to keep in mind, I got a big ass, I got a heavy, I got a big ass heavy duty trash bag. I got one of those big ass, one of those big ass trash bags they use for fucking dumpsters, like in the school cafeteria. I got one of those. I walk in, point the gun out, right? I'm like, 
put the money in the bag. And then I put the money in the bag and I leave, right? That's all I'm doing, right? And, and if they try to press that whack-ass button that like immediately calls the cops or whatever, uh, you just punch them in the face and then you leave, right? And then I go on my way, merry way. And uh, by the way, I rode a bicycle there because if I had a car, if I had a car, uh, they would, you know, they would scan the plates. So if you ride a bicycle, they're not going to be able to catch you. Somebody said, Joe, this is boring and, and this is boring and stream. Uh, I'll ban you from chat, bro. See you later. Uh, mobile, mobile move for the sub toxic for the sub L chatter. If, you know, things were moving kind of slower, I would probably be a little bit more aggressive to the overall crowd. Checking the temperature, doing that one teller. I knew that one merchant teller. I knew if I decided not to go. Nah, new plan. I'm robbing a bank.
would be that would literally be the easiest place to rob. Scarcore for the fringe bets. I'll rob a Radio Shack because nobody goes to a Radio Shack. Yeah, but then you're not getting anything out of it. There, and that would mean that that bank would more than likely have more cash on hand. The other thing was it always had to be a bank that was relatively close to uh, multiple interstates. And one of the other things was how the bank was set up. Were there multiple ways that I could exit, enter or exit? Why well, casing the bank would consist of me watching the employees. And he goes alone? Chad, if you're robbing a bank, are you going alone or with someone? I got to go with someone. I could, bro, alone, I'd be bugging. And I would always watch. Ah, but if you go with somebody, they might rat on you. To see who looked like they were in the most control. So sometimes I'd case a bank for a day, for a day and a half, and then go. You know, um, if that's if it was a bigger bank. And I would watch the flow. Um, I'd watch the, the timing of the flow. I'd watch the pickup. I took probably, I don't know, a few weeks, a month off and just taught myself everything about banks. At that time, got in a hole of all different types of bank manuals, you know. Uh, okay, this video is starting to bore me. Can we move on? <laughs> I thought, Brett, because he's getting too, he's getting too specific. He's like actually teaching you how to rob a bank. Like, he's literally blending in the getaway, the backstory, my first robbery, bro, the aftermath. Like, he's talking about so much. Jesus Christ. Push for the 300 bets. It's me from last week. want to say uh, my type one is going a lot better. Your streams have been helping me keep stress down. Uh, I'm glad I could help and spot it for the 300 bets. All right. Living alone in the wild Siberian forest for 20 years. In the vast, endless, icy forest of Siberia, where the temperature drops to unimaginable minus 70 degrees Celsius. Minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit? You're fucking, you're kidding me, buddy. I moved to Florida or some shit. Oh my god. How long y'all think you last here? This is your Minecraft spawn in real life. You're spawned here. How long you live in? Five days, max. I freeze to death. Even if I build, I freeze to death or I fucking die of, like, no food. Like, water ain't a problem because you got fucking snow and shit. But, like, oh, my God. Dude, fucking, where are you going to get food? What, am I going to hunt the one animal that's also here? The, the other one creature that lives here? This it's a bird. It's a small wooden house. This is a house of Samuel. For the past 20 years, Samuel has chosen to live far away from civilization together with bears and wolves in one of the harshest environments on earth. It's probably pretty peaceful, but this is also like scary as shit. Like, dude, you're, you're, you're near no one. Imagine something happens. You break your leg. You start freezing to death. A big storm comes in. No one can help you. You just die. We watched this already. No, we didn't. We watched, we watched life in Yaku, Yakucha. We watched that like a year ago. This is a, this is a Siberian man that lives alone. This is not the same person. And they lived in a village. This guy lives in the middle of the forest alone. They lived in a city. City of Yakucha is different than this. This is even worse. I love how I love, I absolutely love when people tell me I watched a video or not. I have, I have a brain. I have a brain, right? Like, I have a memory cortex. Like, I can remember things, right? I'm not an 85-year-old man. I forget some things, right? But, like, most of the time, like, I have, I have a brain that remembers things, right? So, like, I can, I can remember encounters that I've had or what I've watched, sing, things like that. Yeah, I forget some things. Like, oh, maybe chat usernames if it was a bit dono or something like that. But, like, bro, like, if I watched a 20-minute video, I think I'd remember if I watched the 20-minute video. Samuel stays because somebody said yet you're still bad at games L buddy that makes no sense that was the worst diss I've ever seen in my entire life yet you're you are wrong version of yours still bad at games how the fuck does memory have to do with that 
You're bringing up fucking gaming skill in correlation to what? Memory. Why? I'm not even on that topic. That might have been the worst diss ever. Fuck. Orange for the 300 bits. My, um, my friend broke up with his girlfriend three months ago. They had a toxic relationship. Now she keeps flirting with me and trying to hang out 24-7. She's pretty, but I don't want to date my bro's ex. Feels like a backstab. What should I do? If you want to date them and you want to hang out with them, you got to ask your friend if you want to keep the friendship nice, uh, if they would care. If they say no and you want to keep the friendship, then don't do it. If they say yes, it's fine, then you can do it. Spotted for the 300 bits. Why is my good for the 300 bits? I would rob a pizza restaurant. The amount of uh, people who order pizza on a daily basis. Yeah, but how much cash do, would they have on hand? Uh, and lucky for the 300 bits. Also, I don't know about that, bro. Your friend broke up with his girlfriend three months ago and you're already trying to get with her? Mm. I, he might get mad. Uh, I have to poop really bad, but I'm clenching because I don't want to. Just go to the bathroom. Oh my god. Skin is a routine that is both essential and demanding. Every morning, he rises early to listen to the news on his radio, which he ingeniously powered using batteries he created himself. Oh my god. See, like, I'm not doing that. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pop over to the local Rite Aid. I'm gonna pack, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a pack of double A's, bitch. I'm not making my own damn batteries. But survival in Yakutia's harsh winter climate is not easy, and keeping his home warm is an ongoing battle. Every day, as the sun rises, he ventures into the forest to gather enough wood to fuel the stove for the day. I would go insane! I, you know, it'd be peaceful for like the first five days, and then you're there for like three years. Bro, I would fucking lose it. I would, I would be, I would, I'd pull some Tom Hanks shit. Start talking to a volleyball. Oh my god. You're that alone? I'd For forget some... English. I'd start speaking to myself. The daily task of collecting wood is a necessary but grueling one. Requiring multiple... Aww. 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 He's dogs. Okay, maybe I wouldn't go insane. If you have a dog you could talk to, even if they can't talk back, you probably wouldn't lose it. All right, never mind. Trips into the. There's the headset bat chat. Pillsbury for the three hundred bets and push for the three hundred bets. Got a Valentine's dance coming up. Trying to ask your girl out named Brooke. Laugh my ass off. Tell me a Riz line. No. Ask to it. She is the Riz lines. The forest daily. Actually, okay. I don't have a Riz line. Pickup lines are cringe. Don't even don't even try a pickup line. Just talk to her. Samuel built his house using... And are you, are you saying it's so weird that you're telling me her name, right? Hey, Joe, I got a, a Valentine's dance coming up. I'm trying to ask out a girl named Brooke. What a coincidence. That's the name of my girlfriend. Are you saying you're going to try and ask out my girlfriend or is it just somebody else named Brooke? Like, why are you telling me their name? That's that's the only... Like, you don't need to tell me their name. Now I'm, now I'm assuming that you're going to try and ask my girlfriend out to a Valentine's dance. Jawsome for the sub. She's going to say no, bro. Hate to be the bearer of bad news. Or she's just not going to answer. Damage for the thousand biddies. Thank you for the thousand bets, bro. If it's somebody else. Okay, no somebody else. Then why did you have to tell me their name? <laughs> it's it's a different Brooke. Okay, but why are you why are you telling me their name? Whatever. Regardless, just ask her out. You don't need a Riz line. Just say, hey, do you want to go to the dance? And looks from the forest. In order to keep the house warm during the harsh Yakutian winters, he insulated it with oakum, a material made from old rope that is often used in Yakutian house. He told you the name probably because your girlfriend has the same name? Dude, I don't know. I, I don't care why he t said the name. I was just confused as to that. It made me think that he was going to say he was going to ask out my girlfriend with the Riz line that I gave him. Uh, damage for the thousand biddies, though. Yes. Instead of proper windows, he... Wait, somebody's self-promoing? Who's self-promoing? If I get... Buddy, buddy said if I get 100 followers, I'll get 50 subs.
I hear you breathing. You gonna queue up? You gonna queue up? You gonna queue up? You gonna queue up? You gonna just keep ping ponging back and forth and breathing really heavily into the mic. Yo. All right, I'm banning this motherfucker from my chat. Oh, they're already banned. My whole chat's flooding into their chat. Bro, nah. Y'all want me to stop breathing? Okay, I'll stop. <gasps> I'm getting out of there, bro. My god, he just- I, I mean, the self-promo worked, but now he's banned from my chat. Smile for the sub. Alright. Use a set cellophane. However, cellophane is not an effective insulator. The house does not retain heat well, and that's why Samuel must constantly heat the house. The unforgiving climate in Yakutia demands respect and caution. The air in such a low temperatures is painfully cold. Bro, the only good thing about this is like, number one, it's kind of peaceful. And like, he doesn't have to pay taxes. <laughs> he doesn't have to pay for like dental care. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, he can't get dental care or anything because of that. But he's like, he's out of, si he's out of society. Like he gets to just do whatever the fuck he wants, basically. Like, that's the one benefit. Go back to his stream. Dude, I don't even remember his fucking username. Okay, go back to his stream. I literally don't even remember his username. Oh, here it is. I'm 14. Oh, uh, y'all want me to scream again? Y'all want me to scream again? Scream more? All right, bye, 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 bro. I got y'all. And biting, but by keeping active and doing physical work, one can stay warm. How do you determine what tree you're gonna chop down? Like, like if you tasked me with chopping a tree down every day, I wouldn't even know which one to fucking pick. I would just, I would just choose one. He looked like he like had his eyes set on that one. Damn, he's going low as fuck for that one. Damn. He's old as shit, too. Born in 1957? Oh my god! He's been living here his whole life? 20 years already, wow. Alone. Alone. I feel like I would get so fucking bored. So fucking bored, chat. What would you do for fun? Like, I know most of the day you have tasks because you have to fucking keep yourself alive. Like, you can't go to a grocery store and get food. You have to actually, like, hunt. Unless he actually goes to a grocery store somehow. You gotta get firewood. He's, like, this is his daily task. I feel like, I like, the leisure time, though. What am I gonna do? Read? Oh, God. That's the worst part of it. I gotta read for fun? Oh. <laughs> That's it. Dedges for the sub. Smile for the sub. Damage for the thousand bits. Hey, weapon. Bears come out. Bitch, I'd have a 12 gauge. Yo, 
this might sound dumb as shit. Where do bears hibernate? In caves. See, here's the thing, chat. There's no caves around here, right? So, I think you're wrong. You guys are telling me I'm stupid. You guys are giving me an answer from a fucking Disney movie, bitch. I'm literally gonna say, where do bears hibernate? I guarantee you, you're wrong. In dens. In hollow trees or logs under the root of a massive tree. In crevices or even high trees in warmer climates. They don't hibernate in caves. Chat, the amount of bears, you think every bear has a cave? You think every bear has a fucking cave that they hibernate in, chat? Oh my god. This isn't a fucking Disney movie. Rocket for the sub, Dairy for the 300 bets. What's up, Joe? Uh, good to catch you live again. Duh, premium for the sub. He needs that much wood every fucking day? Living 30 kilometers away from the nearest village, Samuel must also contend with the challenge of obtaining food. He does not hunt, and his only source of meat is through setting traps for hares. Bro, all he eats every day, all year, is bunnies. Bro doesn't hunt. How is he not starving to death? You're telling me, like, every day he catches a rabbit? If I only ate rabbit and berries every day, bro, I would be eating three rabbits a day easy. However, this method does not always... I would exterminate the population of rabbits in this fucking city. Or not even, not even in a city, in the forest. And when supplies run low, he must make the long five-hour walk to the village. Five hours! Five hours! Five hours there and five hours back? Oh my god, to get a fucking sausage! Jesus! A journey that can only be undertaken during the warmer months of spring and summer. So he could literally starve to death. How much for you to live there for a year? If you could guarantee that I wouldn't die... Uh, half a million. Nah, a million. A million dollars I'd live, I'd, li I'd live alone for a year. Oh, fuck. That would be so boring. Nah, I, I, you might have to be, Bro, that would be so boring. A million... Yeah, a million bucks. A million bucks I'd live there alone for a year. If I had one dog. If I gotta bring Daisy. Piet for the sub. Glad for the 400 bets. And Pushy for the 300 bets. Bro thinks he's Steve from Minecraft. He didn't punch the tree. Rocket for the sub. I mean, this is beautiful, though. Like, this whole fucking area. Somebody said he's literally Walter White. In what way is he Walter White? Walter White cooks meth, right? Walter White is an old man that cooks methamphetamines. He's not... This man is nothing like Walter White. At the end of the show? What do you mean, even at the end of the show? This guy's living alone in a Siberian forest. How is that at all like Walter White in the last season? Walter White lived alone. Dude, the majority of the show, he, he's just cooking meth. <laughs> Joe didn't watch the show. Yes, I did. I've seen Breaking Bad an entire time. Get for the sub. <laughs> Pretty tall ass ball, Jesus. Peaceful, but bro, oh my god. Like, that, like I would be so fucking bored here. 
he eats once or twice a day, depending on his food stock. Once a day? One time every day. Damn. If I could eat one meal every day, I wouldn't even know when the fuck I would eat. Like, midday? <laughs> Low-key, that shit's easy? Yeah, if it was a big-ass meal. If you gave me, like, 800 calories, bro, I'd fucking bug out. It's so sad. Despite the scarcity of food, Samuel never forgets the needs of his four-legged friends, always ensuring that they receive a portion of his own food. Oh! Oh my God! All right, all right, all right. Now that the dogs would make it much more bearable. I could, if I had two dogs, I could probably, I could probably do it. It would still suck, but like, I could live there. Oh, man, I love when dogs get so fucking happy over food. Dude, in the morning when, when I, when you feed Daisy sometimes, bro, and she's just fucking shit, she's running in circles, fucking freaking out. Happy as hell. Oh, they're probably hungry as shit, though. Oh, it's tied to the fucking, why is it tied to the, oh. Why are they tied to the fucking, uh, the little wood stick? Bro got an accordion. Bro's telling him to turn it off. Turn that shit off! Trying to take a nap. <laughs> Big fest for the 500 bits. Says, hello, Joe. This is my first dono. Thank you. Uh, glad for the 400 bits PF for the sub. How's he still alive? Yeah, I don't know how long I would be able to do this. 20 years? You might get more efficient at it, but still. Oh, is he about to go fishing? Like, what if he falls through the ice? In the afternoon, before the sun goes down, Samuel must get water from the lake. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. He relies on the lake's ice as his primary source for drinking and washing, as it's cleaner and safer than snow. The freezing pro- Wait, snow's not clean? Why can't he just pick up the snow? Snow is still safe to eat, but it's it has trace amounts of pollutants. Oh, shit. Are you dumb? What do you mean, am I dumb? It's fucking snow. Process purifies the water, eliminating- Joe pees in the snow? Dude, when it snows, I'll eat a bowl of snow. Like it's a snow cone. No lie. Pour some chocolate syrup in that bitch? I don't know. I'll eat snow, though. Any impurities present- It has bacteria? Yeah, and I fucking mac that shit. Makes me stronger before it was frozen. This daily routine is crucial for Samuel as it ensures he maintains good health. Like, what if he breaks his leg? He's so old. Like he could just die, like like he like does he I would I would fucking freak out. He's like sixty, how old is he? Nineteen fifty seven. He's sixty five years old. He could just die at any moment, or like have a heart attack, and he could still be able to survive it if he went to a hospital. He just dies in the woods. It is what it is. That's life, bro. That would suck. He calls nine one one, buddy. You think 911's going to save his ass? He's a five-hour fucking walk away in the middle of the woods. You think he even has a phone? No. Ding, 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 ding,
what's weird is he's probably healthier than like most of us. Because, like, nothing he eats is processed. Like, have you ever looked at the back of a fucking, like, mac and cheese box or some shit? Like, anything you eat, there's just so much processed shit. Well, live 10 years longer than most of us? Yeah, probably. Chat, when do you think you'll die, like, age-wise? If you don't, if not, like, some manic accident happens. Bro, like, I always say, like, if it's not something manic or insane, like, 75. I think, I think I'll have a heart attack one day at, like, 75 and just die. Like, no lie. Like, I don't foresee myself living to 80. Like, I really don't think I could live to 80. Like, most people, like, an average American, if you live in the U.S., you'll probably die by 75. If you're a man. If you're a man and you live in the U.S., which the majority of my chat is, uh, you'll probably die at 75. Like, by 75. I don't want to die in my 60s. That sucks. I, I would want to die at least, like, like mid to late 70s, probably 80s. I don't know if I would want to live to, like, 95. I feel like that would suck. You know what I mean? Like, for, like if you live to 100, the last 20 years of your life probably blow dick. You know what I mean? Like, are you really having fun? Like, are you really having fun? Like, what are you doing every day? Like, what do old people do? They play Candy Crush. They watch soap operas. That's about it. Like, they don't really do anything. Like, because you're retired, you live off pension, you might have one vacation. It just sucks. Vesuvian for the sub. Big fest for the 500 bits. This is my first dono. Oh, I literally just read that. Oh, my God. If you're living at 100, if you're living till 100, most of your friends and family are dead. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, too. But when you're that old, you usually live for your family and friends. <gasps> or your, fa your family, specifically. Like, your grandkids and shit. Maybe you could do it well. Living in the coldest place on earth has its advantages. Somebody said my grandma is 78. She cooks me meals every day. She is very nice. W grandma. But what I'm saying outside of that, right? Your grandma makes you food. What else does she do, right? Because like when you're 80, you're not working most of the time. Like what do you do all day? And they barely sleep. Like old people take naps and shit. But, like, old people get up at, like, 4 a.m. Like, old people get up early. Just because they don't need sleep. The older you get, the less sleep you need. One of them is that Samuel does not need a refrigerator to keep his food fresh. The I feel like grandpas, like, watch the stock market and grandmas just watch soap operas. And that's their life. For, like, the last 20 years. And that's about it. The cold weather acts as a natural freezer, allowing him to store his food outside. The only thing he has to be aware of is beers. Samuel needs to hide his food well to protect his food supply. If I was living alone in the woods and a bear stole my food, I'm murdering that bear. I'm killing that bear. No fucking doubt. I have food saved up in a box. Some bear opens that shit up. I'm killing it. I'm. I'm. There's. There's no doubt. Like I'm not. I'm not having competition with a fucking bear, dude. Why is he patting his shoes? Yeah, like what if something breaks it? Where does he take a shit? What if something breaks in his house? Then he's got to fucking get it fixed. But he can't. Like he can't get glass. But he can't go smelt sand for himself. He's got to go grab a window. And install it. I wouldn't know how the fuck to do that. Vesuvian for the sub. Ah, uh, in for the three bets. How do you deal with being sad due to leaving high school and moving on with life? New opportunity. Life shouldn't always be the same thing, right? Like, yeah, I'm never going to be in high school again. I mean, now I'm in college. But, like, even when I'm out of college, 
It's just life. You, you, you do new things. You get a job. You grow up. That's life. I mean, you might not like it, but it's just how it is. I don't really know what you want me to tell you. I'm not, I wasn't sad that I left high school. I can't really relate to that. Like, there's days where I'm like, damn, yeah, I remember how easy life was when I was, like, a fucking sophomore. But, like, I mean, I graduated 2020. I'm a junior in college now. I've never, I, I'm a junior in college now. I have not once been like, damn, I wish I was back in high school. High school sucked. <laughs> high school, high school was, like, fun. Like, but it was, like, daycare, dude. Like, you don't, you don't do anything. Like, now that you're older and you've graduated high school, you can actually, like, pursue your dreams. Do something. Get a job. Make money. Buy a car. Have kids. You can actually do things. <laughs> At what age would you end your social media career? I don't know. I foresee myself doing YouTube and Twitch longer than TikTok, obviously. But I don't know. Right now I'm 20. I turned 21 in like a week and a half. I would say maybe like 26 to 28. I would quit. I would want to be done before I had a kid. I plan. I would be fine with having a kid when I'm 28. In eight years, I would have a child. I would want to be done having kids by 32. Because I would want them to be graduating high school before I'm 50. So then I could still live my life. You know what I mean? Motherfucker saying, no, chat. That's like eight years from now. <laughs> no, Joe, you can't quit. That's eight years from now. Y'all really think you're going to be watching me in eight years? I'm probably going to have a whole new... If I'm still fucking streaming in four years, I'll have a whole new ass audience. Y'all really say, yes, I'm definitely going to watch. Okay. Eight years is too short. Dude, that's almost a decade. <laughs> Dude, a family channel? Okay. My general plan is like, I would probably be done social media if I don't fall off, right? Like, obviously, you don't know what's going to happen. But like, if I don't fall off or get banned or some shit, I would foresee myself quitting by like, in like six to eight years. But like, what I mean by quitting is just posting way less. Like, I would still post, like, once a year. You know what I mean? You know how Casey Neistat posts, like, once a year? I would do that. Like, I would do, like, updates. But it wouldn't be, like... Like, I wouldn't fall off the face of the earth, but I would not be posting every five... I would not be posting four, four, four fucking times a week. Somebody said, Joe, you already fell off. That's untrue, but even if I did, who gives a shit? Benji for the sub. Like, when people say that, it's like an insult. Like, dude. Like, you realize that's just how it works? Like, social media is a job. The job ends at some point. You fell up? Facts. No, do casual vlogs? I don't know. I, I could see myself doing TikTok for another, like, two to three years. I could see myself doing YouTube and Twitch for another, like, eight. Like, because I like Twitch and YouTube. Like, I don't see I don't see myself getting bored of it. Dairy for the sub. When dinner time comes, Samuel is busy making Yakutian bread using soda, water, and flour. It's a simple and fast recipe that produces a tasty bread and keeps him full. Soda. I don't usually cook bread, but it's a treat. Bread is a treat? Oh my god. See, like, I don't know, dude. Like, he has so little options to eat. He's cooking, Joe. He's like Walter White. Oh my god. Then is every person that has ever cooked like Walter White. Right? There's a difference between making bread and making meth. Okay? Methamphetamines, it's an illegal, it's an illegal substance. It's a drug. Right? Versus bread. Two different things. Samuel's life has been filled with hardship and part of the reason that he decided to live alone in the forest was because his family died at his young age. Damn. But despite losing everything he held dear and the hardships that life has dealt, he never lost his kindness or his love for those around him. Even living in the harshest of environments, he found a way to shine a light 
in the darkness. Inspirational. W Siberian man. Oh, behind the camera, what? Oh, small. Oh, yeah, nah. If I was filming him, I'd bring him like McDonald's. I'd bring him. I'd bring him McDonald's, and what else would I bring him? A bunch of shit. I would bring him like uh, probably a thousand dollars in food or some whack shit, just so he could chill for a while, make life easier. Advil, just like basic things, toilet paper. I feel like that'd be like nice. All right, W man. All right, next video. Inside the world's biggest passenger plane, then we're going to watch uh, a few horror videos. We got to restart that one. We literally got a minute into it. Yo, is the what is Nick A30 still in the Fortnite after party? Nick A30 still in the Fortnite after party? Nah, he ended stream. Bro, did he go live for like an hour? <gasps> he probably went live for like an hour, did that, and then left. All right. At 73 meters in length and with an 80 meter wingspan, the Airbus A380 is the world's largest ever passenger plane. Dude, they look weird as fuck. Big ass planes look like your forehead swelled up. Like that does not look aerodynamic. That looks like you're pushing that thing in the fucking air. That is not gliding. If that if you cut the engines, that thing would fall out of the fucking sky. Traveling at speeds of over 700 miles per hour, this jumbo jet can transport you between countries in utter luxury. But how exactly is life inside an A380? Global giant British Airways runs a fleet of these feats of engineering, setting the standard for economy Like, it looks weird as shit. Like, it's got some big-ass bubble on top. In the industry, passengers will be immediately greeted with a double-width stair- Two floors! See, that's extra. You ain't need no damn two floors. They got a bar. Fuck out of here. Oh my god, I'm going on a plane to go somewhere. I don't need I don't need a fucking bar and like a piano player. Case towards the front of the plane, one of the first of its type, and of course leading to the A380's famous upper deck. Throughout the cabin, LED lights provide the most energy efficient lighting solution. These can be controlled to mimic different scenes or moods such as sunset and sunrise to help prevent fatigue among passengers, helping with Helping prevent fatigue. Just go to bed. What do you mean? Oh, so they don't get tired. Just go to bed. What do you mean fatigue? So they're not tired on the plane? I pass out on every plane I've ever been on. I have never not slept on an airplane. With the changing time zones. Plenty of natural light also... Fatigue with the changing time zones? Oh my God. Just pass out and wake up. ...as the cabin during daylight hours through the exceptionally large windows, which are larger than most other aircrafts. Owing to a fuselage some 20 inches wider than Boeing's answer to the A380... Yo, you're bugging. You think I got that seat right there? You see that big-ass window right there? If you ever get in a plane crash, these people are never living. Never living. They're on the tip of the plane. They're the first thing that's fucking smacking into the side of the mountain. The 747, passengers will notice the more roomy feel of the cabin. And because on the main deck, the fuselage is still curving outwards, exterior seats benefit from extended shoulder width. Perfect for those flying next to a stranger in that oh-so-awkward middle seat. Economy class, or world traveler as British Airways likes to put it, has enough space for 299 passengers. Each and every seat, even for flyers with the cheapest of tickets, features a USB charging port to keep smartphones and tablets charged on those longer haul flights, while a further 170 seats are split between the remaining classes, including 97 reserved for business class. When is it acceptable to buy a first class? Like, how long of a flight does it need to be to buy one of these fancy seats? Not even necessarily first class, but like the ones that lay down. Like 12 hours. Like 12 hours, 12 hours, eight hour, eight to 12 hours. Like if it's less than, if it's less than eight hours, I'll just buy it. I would buy like a regular seat where I'm just sitting upright. But if you got me in like a 16 hour flight from like New York to Tokyo, like I would buy, I would spend the extra money to lay down. Cause that, that would be torture. S sitting upright for fucking 16 hours. Dude, I would jump out of the plane. Known in BA terminology as club class, these seats are split between the lower and upper decks. Interestingly, the upper deck is wider again, at 70 inches more than a 747's upper deck, helping to create a truly airy and spacious ambience. Up here, 55 World Traveler Plus seats make use of the extra space. Why don't they fly over the North Pole? Oh, because the, uh, the Earth is flat, right? And NASA is hiding uh, the fact that there's aliens past the ice wall. 
the 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 North Pole doesn't really exist, right? And and so basically Antarctica is an, is an ice wall that surrounds Earth and the Earth is flat. Right? This is the Earth. This is the Earth we live on, right? This is the Earth we live on, right? You would think you would think that like science is right and everything makes sense and like and like it would be kind of impossible to ever genuinely believe that this is the the model of the Earth because all human knowledge would assume that this is not the model of the Earth. Specifically speaking, in the fact that like sometimes if you're flying from like say California, which is like here, and you're going like you know to Australia, you might actually fly this way rather than this way. But that's what that's what the government wants you to think, right? The Earth is actually flat. That actually astonishes me, though. That, like, when we, when, uh, th this is, like, the easiest, like, I know people go into disapprovals of flat Earth by, like, talking about gravity and lunar eclipses and, like, sun, and the sun and all this other shit. Like, the biggest way to disprove this, to disprove a flat Earth, is why do they fly in the opposite direction of a fucking area sometimes? Like, if the flat Earth was real, you would always have to fly, like, this way. To go over here. But because we live on a round earth, you can fly that way and then it just cuts you back over here. Somebody said, Joe, you are mad boring. All right, let me help you out there. Banned you from the chat. See you later, brother. Now you can leave the stream. All right, back to the bed. Uh, there's portals, that's why. Yeah, no, the government created portals uh, to, e to even fully like to even more fully prove or try and false so falsely prove that the earth is round there's portals that airplanes fly through and it just warp times you to the other side of the flat earth uh lucky for the three minutes says my mom has never woken uh never woke up on a plane that doesn't make sense glitch for the, uh the sub and we're for the three minutes love these types of vids showing off things and listing the most expensive shit yeah no it's actually entertaining as fuck Space, as well as a larger screen and two USB ports. To you and I, this is premium economy. Because this area is above the midway point. This is premium? An upright seat is premium? The fuselage begins to curve back, tapering inwards as it goes up. And rather than cutting off that all-important headroom, British Airways moved the seats inwards, which in turn made room for seat-level lockers, perfect for storing things like laptops and handbags. Economy is called just that for a reason. Airliners fit as many people oh. on as... Chat, imagine a 12-hour flight on that. Imagine a 12-hour flight sitting sitting on that shit. That, that seat don't even go back. That seat don't even go back. You're fucking up. You're up. You're sitting up. Dude, I'm schlumped right now. You gotta be... Uh, nah, I couldn't. I, dude, my back pain would be insane. As is reasonably possible in order to sell more tickets, making more profit for the company. But if you're looking for something a little bit more special, Emirates has got you covered. If you're heading on a one- I flew 14 hours with a normal seat. It was awful. Dude, I wouldn't be able to. Longest flight I've ever been on was six hours. I sat upright. My, dude, my ass was hurting. My fucking butt bones started cramping. To a lifetime trip, maybe the premium economy area is more up your street. When it comes to Emirates, all seats, apart from economy, are finished in a luxurious cream-colored quilted design leather. In fact- I ain't give a fuck about that dumb ass design. What a waste of fucking money. Literally give me a seat that fucking reclines in any way to where I could at least sit like this. And then I'm chilling. Nobody needs no dumbass fucking quilt design. Premium economy seats even boast retractable leg rests that emerge from under the seat. See, help. that's what I'm chilling with. That's what I would buy. Passengers On a fucking 12-hour flight, I'm not buying first class. I don't need a bed. I just need something to lay down. Sleep more easily. In fact, a general cream and polished wood theme continues throughout the entire cabin, striking the perfect balance between luxury and opulence. No and one cares. How, do you think anybody's gone on this flight and been like, oh my God, look at the wood finish. Look at look at this nice wood finish and these fucking, these patterns on the seats. No, nobody gives a shit. Clean and open design language. Electric window shades make blocking out unwanted light a breeze. Spend or, 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 you, do, or you just get one of the ones that's a pull tab, right? I don't need no fucking elect again, extra, right? No need for that. No need for that. Now you're getting me to pay another hundred dollars for that dumbass electric windshade. Just give me one of the ones that I pull up and pull and push down. That's all I need. And a few hundred more though. Glitch for the seven hundred bets and the seven the dock for the seven. And you're in for a treat. 
A waterfall sits at the top of the staircase, recessed into the wall like a piece of modern art. Yes, you heard that right. A waterfall with real flowing water on board an aeroplane flying at 40,000 feet. Yeah, useless. But what if you really wanted to push the boat out? Uh, sorry, what if you really wanted to push the plane out? What if you had $30,000 to spend on a round trip from New York City to Abu? You want me to spend 30 grand on a fucking flight there and back? Bitch, what crack shit are you on? 30 grand. 30 grand. The average, almost the average American salary. For one flight, for two flights, there and back. Oh my God. No. Abu Dhabi. We'll make that 40000 dollars for a couple it's time to disembark oh oh you get you get a discount if you fly two people on it lovely love to see that from your emirates flight and join forces with etihad airways the whole experience starts off at home or at your favorite five-star hotel from here your personal etihad chauffeur will transport you to the airport in a luxury limousine something like a mercedes s-class another useless ass thing i don't care if i was a multi-billionaire I am never getting a motherfucker to drive me. I like driving. I would rather drive a cool car myself than have some dickhead drive me, okay? I'm gonna drive the fucking Lambo myself. I don't need somebody to fucking chauffeur me in a goddamn BMW, okay? Stonky for the sub. A private concierge guides you past the check-in desks and straight to your private lounge because, of course, they've already managed everything for you, including the check-in service. The first meal included in the package will be enjoyed in this private area, a multi-course meal selected especially for you according to your personal preferences. The lucky passenger or passengers will then likely move on to the spa facilities, or maybe just a short massage to If I don't have my own damn toilet, I'm not going- Dude, you have to share a toilet? Yo, you're fucking bugging, buddy. 30 grand for a seat and I gotta share a toilet with someone. No. Do than relieve tension before the long flight. When it's time to fly, a personal butler awaits, having prepared some of your favorite entertainment or maybe food to enjoy over the course of the flight. The on What do you mean favorite entertainment? He'll put on Netflix for me. He'll put on Disney Plus. Just for me. So I didn't have to say so I didn't have to spend the three minutes figuring out the fucking remote. That's a scam. Vin called the residence consists Dude, of 30 grand. Why not buy a private jet? You know what I mean? Like, if I'm gonna buy a $30,000 flight to, to, to fucking Abu Dhabi, why not even just taxi a fucking private jet with your friends or some shit? It would probably be cheaper. Three rooms for the exclusive use of top paying guests. The lounge is where they are likely to rest, watch some television, and enjoy food from a customized menu devised by a personal chef. And again, made up of many courses. Unlimited free Wi-Fi can be enjoyed from here too. Oh, wow, what a package that is. <laughs> What a package that is. W free Wi-Fi? Oh, damn. Wow, that's good shit. I don't have to pay for the Wi-Fi. Or maybe a short kit may help the time pass. At the end of a small corridor lies a full-size double Dude, bed. I wouldn't sleep. If I'm paying 30 grand for this flight, I'm going to be up the entire time. Because if I pass out, I just waste money. And a second television. Might as, as well experience drop. it. Unangry koala for the fucking eight gifted subs. Dumb in the chat for that. Think of the fucking eight gifteds on Angry Koala. What a username that is. Thank you, Koala, for the eight gifteds, bro. Thank them if you got a sub, and thank you for the fucking eight gifteds, bro. Sun and B uh, BSH for the sub, too. It's talking for the 23 month sub. Oh my god. All right. Draws to an end just before breakfast is the perfect opportunity to take a warm yeah, shower. Yeah, don't want that. Give me, a, give, me a, give me a goddamn Denny's breakfast, bitch. I don't want no weird fish egg stack. Fish egg stack. That, what is that? One egg? What is that, one egg? Give me a goddamn breakfast, buddy. What is that, whipped cream caviar? Some weird bread sticks, a fucking lemon? What is that, cream cheese and egg? Dude, just get me a goddamn pancake breakfast. Opportunity to take a warm shower in your very own private bathroom area. Damn, those are some big-ass rippers. Shower in your very own- Whoa. But he's got the meat sticks. ...private bathroom area with complimentary Aqua de Palma toiletries. Yes, even more crazy than a waterfall on a plane is a full-sized shower. It's a real shame, then, that the flight isn't longer, as there are so many facilities on board to explore and so many opportunities to enjoy good food and drink. Helping to create this exceptional level... See, like, old people. Old people that are gonna die soon. They don't have any money to spend shit on. ...to explore and so many opportunities to enjoy... Old white people.
That's what the, that's that's the people buying these fucking flights, or they had it bought for them. Bro's really in a business suit, sitting there drinking champagne on a thirty thousand dollar flight. I'm gonna be in some I'm gonna be in some slippies and my PJs, dude. I'm gonna be comfortable. All right, I'm not dressing to impress. I'm dressing to have a good time. Good food and drink. Helping to create this exceptional level of service for all passengers is a team of 22 cabin crew who, on long-haul flights, work in rotation so that they can have rest, just like you and I. Beneath the main deck, in a secret underground world... Yo, that is kind of a fire job, though. You only have to work one flight. Dude, like, you literally... Say you're one of the people that's flying from, like, New York to, like, London. That's, like, what, six, seven hours? You work one flight. Or two flights, then you're done. You just go there and back. All right, job over. There is a living area for cabin crew. By no means is it as large or luxurious as upstairs, but a selection of bunk beds at least provides- Bro, this is where they gotta sleep? What is this, the fucking military? Oh my God. Holy shit, they're sleeping on a fucking concrete block. Some sort of privacy and rest. Headspace is pretty limited, with taller crew needing to duck just to fit through the- Oh my God, squeezing. I'm not fitting in that. What is that? Is that even- uh, Dude, I would have to fucking- I would have to fucking pull my legs in. In the fetal position. That is not six feet. Bunks can be two or even three high, similar to a capsule-style hotel found in many Asian countries. More spacious maybe are the living quarters for the pilot and his or her team. A standalone room just off the main cockpit, they can enjoy more headspace and larger beds. They too can enjoy the in-flight entertainment, just like the other passengers. Dude, that's so crazy they don't even have to fly the plane half the time. They can- they literally take off. They can just fucking play on their phone. Dude, your pilot, for all you know, is playing Clash of Clans in air. In air. You're paying, you're paying fucking $700 for this flight. Buddy's, buddy's sitting on the game. Buddy's doing his clan war attacks while, while he's flying the plane. More headspace. And you larger. paid 30 grand for the flight. Buddy's enjoying a nice Clash of Clans gameplay. They too can enjoy the in-flight entertainment, just like the other passengers. Pilots of the A380 really do deserve that rest, too. They must all be trained on ground handling specific to the A380. Yeah, see, that's why they're getting paid a bag, though. This is like looking at hieroglyphics. What the fuck am I looking at? Eighty, just thanks to its sheer size. An 80-meter wingspan makes taxiing a bit of an undertaking. Yo, fuck all this shit. I'm putting that in manual mode. I don't need any of this. Give me the fucking, give me the, give me the wheel. I'll just be driving that shit. 380, just thanks to its sheer size. An 80 meter wingspan makes taxiing a bit of an undertaking, but to help the pilot, two cameras can be employed. While we enjoy looking through the cameras as a matter of fun, the pilots rely on the ground facing camera to locate the nose wheel and keep it on track with the guiding lines and the tail. Where's the wheel? Did camera to keep an eye on the high. <laughs> Do they just press buttons to land it like WASD? Like, what are they fucking doing? Of activity that's always going on at an airport. Pilots are also trained to safely fly the beast in the air. Yeah, which... where's the joystick? Where's the where's the knob where they pull up and down? Can weigh a maximum of around 570 tons at takeoff. Each 40 meter wing weighs 40 tons. Dude, those <laughs> wings look like they're about to fall off. They're sagging. 40 meter wing weighs 40 tons, the same as 20 large family cars, and can hold a total of 250 tons of fuel. In comparison, your average family hatchback holds around 0.06 tons of fuel. However, a unique wing design allows the plane to approach at much lower speeds than something like a 747-400. The lower engine speeds mean an overall quieter experience for the passengers inside as well as the residents unfortunate or fortunate enough to live near an airfield. The landing gear consists of 22 ginormous wheels which can only support 390 tons of- Yo, I would be stressed the fuck out if I had to land this. I like, yo, I don't care how much technology or experience I have. You get me landing a fucking, a I'm, I'm in here. Uh, yo, this big ass plane. You got me in this little ass seat over here and I'm manning this bitch. I got, I got to fucking keep everybody alive. N and not only everybody alive, I got to keep myself alive and fucking land this motherfucker. I'm landing, which means the plane no. must <laughs> no. burn through at least 180 tons of that fuel in order to make a safe landing. The multiple classes of luxury are all thanks to the size of the A380, Airbus's answer to growing numbers of traffic in and around airports. Moving more passengers in one plane consequently results in fewer planes congesting the system. Have you ever flown in the world's largest passenger plane? Maybe like, I wouldn't be stressed flying one of those little-ass rotary planes. Well, I mean, I'd be stressed because I don't know how to fly a plane. But, like, if you give me, like, three months 
and I just learned how to fly the plane like every day, I feel like I could fly one of those. Like I would, no matter how much experience I had, I would never be comfortable flying that shit. Fuck that. Unangry for the three minutes. How many toddlers on creatine could you take before you die? A toddler being on creatine would not make them more good at fighting. They're not going to gain muscle. Extreme and Oblerone for the sub. I have no idea. Uh, simply for the sub, unangry. Again, thank you for the, the 300 bitties and the A gifted. Sam for the 300 bits. A game you should play is Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Send it in the game suggestion tab, exclamation point Discord. Uh, video suggestion tab and the game suggestion tab chat. Exclamation point Discord, mods. Mods, type the, the Discord link. You guys can send videos for me to react to. Uh, we're going to get into the horror videos now, though. We got two of these. We're going to start out with proof. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick first. Uh, brr, 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 brr. All right, hold up. What song do I want to play? Right. Down 30 seconds. Bones. The juice man. Yeah. She fine, negative mind, baby bones not kind. Poison in my lungs, dope until I'm done. Bury me alive with a hundred fifty blunts. Lit, I'ma spit like a kid on the pit. Always yapping how you stack and spend it fast on your fit. Get ran for your shit, get robbed for your life. Set fire to your ice, watch you melt in the light. I got two bad bitches sucking at the same time. The way they have my toes curled up should be a crime. Roll me up. Next video. The lava lamp is indeed lava lamping. It is. All right. Oh, we got to turn off one of these lights. All right. We got two scary reacts today. We'll see how they are. All right. First one is proof. Everybody lock in. Everybody lock in. They got this ominous music. It might be good. We'll see. She's filming herself playing the piano. Bit cringe. My God, the Samsung Galaxy. I'm not going back to playing the piano. I'm going to figure out what the fuck that was. Oh, it's going to be in the reflection of the piano or some shit. Stop, stop. What is this with the what is with this weird ass panning?
I didn't even hear anything. Did y'all hear anything? Stop saying behind you, chat. Fuck off. Somebody said she kind of bad. Stop. Bro, bring the phone. Oh, come on. Why does she keep looking at it? It's still recording. Oh, it's going to walk by the camera. Oh, my God. It's going to walk by the camera. Stop. Keith for the five gifteds. Damn. Dumb in the chat, Keith Fowler, bro. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank Keith if you got a sub and thank you for the fucking five gifteds, bro. Damn. Appreciate it. Thank you for the five gifteds. 115 subs today. A lot of subs. Big dub. Bro, I can't tell if she's hearing the piano in the other room or if this is just background music. Oh, God. She's going to open it all slow. No, oh, Jesus Christ. How does everything scare you, bro? Because that looks weird as fuck. Like, if I, like, that, like, that looks weird as fuck. Like, if I saw that shit, I don't know what I would do. Bro, I would move. I would go to every fucking church. I would get a religious cleansing. I would fucking do everything. In, oh, my God. Dude, if I saw some weird-ass fucking demon shit, I would literally contact every way possible to get that motherfucker out of there. Oh, my God. Keith for the 10 gifted. Thank you, Keith Fowler, for the 10 gifted subs, bro. 15 total just now. Thank you, Keith Fowler underscore, bro. Thank Keith if you got a sub, and thank you for the 15 fucking gifted total, bro. Appreciate it. Big dub. No, I'm immediately moving. No, but thank you, Keith, for the subs. I think I'm saying your name right. See, like, is it playing the piano? She's playing the piano. I'm out that door. I'm out that door. I'm not even going to fucking interact with her. Yeah, keep playing the piano. That shit's yours. You can have it. It's going to jump scare me. I already know it. I already know it's coming and I'm still going to freak out. Cameras, the camera's filming her. Oh, did she just knock over the camera? Oh, she just knocked over the fucking camera. Don't look. 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 No, 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 no. You don't need to know. Oh my god, just leave. Just fucking leave. Just fucking leave. Just fucking leave. Just fucking leave. Get somebody to go with you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. If it's not there, I'm gonna freak out. The camera's not there. Oh my god, the camera's not there. It's under the bed. Or it's under the fucking couch. Or some shit. Fuck. 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 The grippers are out. Jesus. She about to watch that shit back too. Phone's dead. This is a Samsung diss. Phone dies when you need it most. It's behind her. Stop! God, and you're gonna open the piano. Are you gonna open the piano? Dude, I can't hide behind my mic. Every time what I normally do is I would hide behind my mic, but I got a smaller mic stand, so now I can't. Fuck. Dude, why would you open that shit? If it's fucking banging to get out, leave it in there. Fucking blow it up. I'm burning that fucking piano. Yo, she is so stupid. This shit is insane.
It's there. 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 It's behind her. It's there. What do you want from me? My piano. <gasps> All right, that was dumb as shit. That ending was stupid as fuck. How do they always ruin it in the ending? I don't. That, how do they always ruin it in the ending? Like I got scared as fuck. I don't. I don't know how they fucked that up. Anyways, next video. That was a lame ass ending. All right, this video's old as fuck. Somebody said this in the Discord. This video's from 2009. On December 17th, 2008, four 17 year old boys were found dead in their car at an abandoned farm, 10 miles from their hometown. This video contains the unedited footage from the camera belonging to one of the boys also found in the car. I don't know if this is real. I think this might be based off a true story. We'll see. Bro, I literally read that for no reason. I read that for no reason because it played it in the video. The residence was thought to have been long abandoned, but upon investigation, police officers found signs of recent inhabitants. Aqua for the fucking raid. W raid in the chat. Thank you for the fucking eight gift. Or not eight gift. It's the, the fucking eight person raid, bro. Somebody said scan the video. I think it'll be fine. Uh, I don't know. And we'll give it a shot. Aqua, thank you for the for the part or the the rate of eight people though. It's not age restricted, so I'd assume it's not TLS. This has been released with a family's consent. Okay, I don't know why the f we're doing this. Me and Ollie have got work at eight in the morning, but Woo! we're driving about in his car because we're words. absolute twats. <laughs> Does that light make a difference? Have you seen it on what the week? Uh, famous last words. Stingrays love foreplay. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna stick this down here because I can't be fucked to keep moving it. Hey. Hey, I'll see if I can. Nah, this kind of looks real. Nah, this kind of looks real. The I fuck was that? Oh no! Oh my coke spilled every oh my lap. Oh it's cold. <laughs> oh, it's been proven fake? It does look real though. I think it looks more real too, just because it's an older video. Somebody said dent. I gotta up the price of headset dent. People redeem that like 20 times a stream. <laughs> Oh, that's no, Hall Farm was in the news. The fuck? I don't know what it was. I can't remember. Have you ever seen this? Uh, it gives me the shit so badly. I don't think we should be here. It's like it's like a private road or something. Okay, so I better clutch down and roll backwards. It's nearly half four. We need to get home, mate. Wait, no, Ollie, please. We're just trying to turn around. We please agree that we don't ever go back to this archway. I okay, yes. agree. Right, somebody redeemed it again. Last one. I'm doing. Any more future headset dents today are not getting refunded, and I'm not doing it. Sounds like Tom Holland. It kind of does. What about this? Woo! Woo! Do it again. Turn it back on. Do it again. There's like a bloke in the middle of the road. Oh, no. Stop saying that because it will actually happen. What's the site say? It says... We need Stevenage. It says Walking. Beddington. I'm, I'm that is no... But I don't even know where that is. That's nowhere near us. Someone tell me a joke. Cheer me up. Knock, knock. Who's there? I don't know. I'm really lost. <laughs> <laughs> we are actually now lost. <laughs> we pulled over because you know where we are. And we've been driving down the street. Oh, for never about. pulling over. Never pulling over. Y'all on this. Y'all lost on a fucking road, you fucking dipping? Yes. I'm not even. Fu I, I don't care if I don't know where I am. I'm going to keep driving. I'll figure it out while I'm driving. Even if I hit a dead end, I'll turn the fuck around. I'm never stopping. It's over for that. Literally. No. Get the fuck out of there? Yeah. Well, I mean, this is also 2009, so presumably they might not even have phones. A fucking hour now. James's GPS and his phone has stopped working. Might just be a camera. Oh, no, they do have a phone. It's it's like phone. Does it even say what time it is? My phone is just... Somebody redeemed Flex. Last one I'm doing of that today, too. Yeah, I'm scared because there are no lights in any direction. Thank you. Anyway. That was so advertisement, like... Stella! Stella. <laughs> Stella.
underage, underage drinking. Wait, no, is it legal? Oh, they're new. They're they sound like they're from New Zealand. Ooh, I they might be allowed. Holly, plans. What do we do? I don't know. I'm scared because it's down to me because I'm driving the car. <laughs> also, I don't know what I don't know what the legal age is in New Zealand or or wherever they're from. They sound like they're from the UK. I can't Only even the tell. Only your face makes you extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, it does. I get to they're film. definitely British. The guy, the guy with the camera doesn't really sound British. Bolly doing a wee wee. Is right out. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it was right out. I can't bitch with this much. My balls. A rabbit. I can't it, rabbit. It's like perfectly preserved as well. It's really weird. <laughs> oh, Ollie, don't. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Rabbit. I can't rabbit. It's like perfectly preserved as well. It's really weird. <laughs> Oh, Ollie, don't. Fuck off. Oh, man. Is... Stop oh, it. I'm stroking it. it. We caught a rabbit. Oh, my turn. I'm just going to have a look up the road. Take the camera. I'm just going to I'm just gonna see if I can see the lights, the lights and see. Let me get back in. <laughs> no idea. Sexy little bitch, isn't he? Look at that ass. <laughs> what is he looking at? Steve. Get Steve. back Steve. in. Steve. What the fuck? What's what? What? What's the massive? Right? What? Drive. Drive. What the fuck is God, this is giving me chills, bro. I have no idea what's happening. Oh my god, this is making me it's like making me nervous though that it keeps cutting in and out. Fuck. Oh, oh, isn't funny. funny. Oh, there was someone there was someone and he was like wearing some sort of mask. Uh, really wanna get home now. Car for like an hour. More than that. Scary how it's kind of Paris wasn't here to get us home. Well. Where were they even trying to go? <sighs> Jesus, every corner feels like the same. It's, it's so familiar, isn't it? Have you not got a signal? No, 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 it's a sign, it's a sign. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. And it's... What is it? Bennington again. Oh. What? Nah, if it was. No. Wait. Oh my god. And there's... Wait, stop, stop. No. Yeah, no, we just got in a... I would shit my pants. I would shit my pants. If they just went in a fucking loop... Nah, dude, they just keep going back to the same spot they can't leave. Uh, a little circle, so it's... <laughs> we didn't... We Benning, kind of died. No, Bennington's in the middle. That's all it is. Bennington is too... We've been going in a straight line. No, we, no, we haven't. It's been, it's been left, I swear. Absolutely swear. No, we didn't take any turns. No, no it doesn't matter. The, the road is curved. Relax, man. No, it's... Do you want to go to Bennington? It's a curved road. It's still in a loop. Prove it. Do we turn, left. Do we turn it's around? It's not same man. It's like... That's like you're fucking... What, what, <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, my God. You want to go to Bennington to prove it? Do we turn, do we turn it's around? It's not same man. It's like, that's like you're fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Oh, come on. No. I'm turning the camera off. No. That's where it oh, is. Oh, fucking hell. What's oh, that building? That Jesus. It's like a prison. It's a plan. I think the only thing we can do is keep driving until... Cost in a straight line. And don't take any corners until we end up somewhere. It must have been going for about two and a half hours now. Maybe three. And I know two and a half hours? Oh my god, dude, they're gonna run out of gas! I idea what time it is, and it's winter, so the sun doesn't come up too late. Hey, the, don't go to the Wicker Man town. Can you stop talking about the Wicker Man? <laughs> We're in the middle of the country, there's gonna be pagans running after us. That wait, 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 what sign is this? Oh my god, they're at the same fucking place. <gasps> no, dude, I wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't know what to do. Stop. Stop. Oh my god. You're a bunch of twats. Pull, 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 no, Steve, you just. I'm first this is thing. literally Little Hope. It's a lot like Little Hope, and it's a lot like Blair Witch. If you've ever seen Blair Witch, uh, or the game Little Hope and everything, you kind of get like whatever the thing is that kills you, kind of gets you stuck in this like loop, so you can't leave. You've just driven past it again. No, we're not fucking with you. That's horrible. Hazards, hazards, Jesus. hazards. Stop fucking doing all that kind of shit. It's so annoying. I'm checking that sign. It cannot be the same. Just go. I don't want to stay here. You know what I would do? You know what I would do? I would put something on the sign. I would, I would put something on the sign, and I would keep going just to make sure that I'm not hitting the same thing. You know what I mean? Like, just to check that it's the same exact sign. What would you get out of it? Well, then you would just know. But even then, I, there's no way of escaping at that point. There's several no through roads, by the way. There's five of them. What do you mean? Like they made five different ones? Oh, they did. 
Bro, I'll add this one too. Damn, I'd watch these other ones. This video's good as shit, chat. Hold up. Oh, Ollie, I don't want to drive down this road anymore. We've done it three times and we haven't got anywhere. Okay, should we try that way then? Let's try and go towards bottom. Did you put the radio on? Yeah, put the mic as well. Hang on a sec, Ollie, I can't get the seat right. What is this? Oh, it's like the scariest thing ever. What station was that? Pirate. I don't know. It's never no, been. It's a bit of pirate. That was some. Does it like worry you guys that we haven't seen another car for about two, maybe three hours now? I see lights. I see around. I see around. Oh, we're around getting out. That's <laughs> 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 it. Look, guys. Look. Oh my God. Stevenage. Yes. Ah, oh, finally. Ah. <laughs> Finally there. Oh, oh my god, headlights. Oh, oh last car. Jesus. Hello. Oh, I wanted yeah. to be a baker, but I couldn't make the dough. <laughs> Are they not gonna die? <laughs> Wait, no, it set, started off with them dying. <laughs> Stevenage. Stevenage. Welcome to Stevenage. Wow. Hey guys. Stevenage, guys. Turn <laughs> the lights on. <sighs> what the fuck? How did we get. Oh my god, dude, it's it's like they're getting there and then it just fucking loops them back. They're just back at the entrance. Hey guys. Turn the lights on. What the fuck? I would start panicking. Like I would like I bro, I would actually have a panic attack. I would probably start hyperventilating. I'd freak the fuck out. I wouldn't know what to do. How did we get here? We were just on the fuck. Just reverse, Ollie. Reverse, go on. What do we do? I would reverse. I'm just, not going to. Just, just those here. I don't want to see. Oh, sake. oh, the car won't start. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God. No. No. I'm sitting in that car. I'm not moving till the sun rises. If the sun never rises, bro, I'm smashing my head against the fucking window and I'm just ending it, dude. It's over there. No, I'm not, I'm not dying to some paranormal shit. James, point the camera at me. Just, James, just give me the. We done. Turn it back on. No, it's not me. I, I, I can't. Turn the turn bloody lights on. Oh! What? No! No! Fucking scary, dude. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Ah! Oh my god. No, please. No. Please. 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 No. 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 That shit's nuts. That is a fire ass video. Oh my god. That was scary as fuck.
Genuinely one of the best things I've seen to build up the suspense, the goofy kids. Dude, this it made it look real. That was like the most real scary thing I've ever seen. Like on YouTube. Like even like the other side of the box. Like that was like, I always said that was the best scary video we've watched because it was just a really scary idea. But like that looked real. Oh my God. That was a dub. Holy shit. Okay. Was that TOS? No, it was fake blood. It wasn't a real video. All right. We're going to call it there, chat. W fucking stream. W chat. We had a great audience. We had a great fucking chat today. I appreciate everybody that came out into the fucking stream. Uh, I will be live tomorrow at 2. Uh, we're going to be doing more of As Dusk Falls tomorrow. Uh, which is like a game where chat basically decides what happens. If you weren't there, we played it on Wednesday. I will do a recap tomorrow for it. It's a very fun game. Uh, you won't be lost even if you missed the first stream. It'll be fun as shit. Be there, be square, join the Discord, exclamation point Discord, send videos for me to react to, games for me to play. Uh, I'll be live tomorrow too for more of As Dusk Falls. We'll finish it on Wednesday. Sunday, we'll be doing reactions at 2. Monday, Minecraft. Tuesday off. Wednesday, we'll finish As Dusk Falls. Next Thursday, we're going to do an unbanned stream and uh, start toy uh, or play Toilet Chronicles, which is like a scary slash funny game. But yeah, I appreciate everybody that came out into the stream. I hope you guys had fun watching the stream. I had fun streaming for you guys. Uh, and we are going to raid. We'll raid Toasty OG today because uh, he raided me the other day. But yeah, hope you guys had fun watching the stream. I appreciate everybody that came out, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow or in future streams. And yeah, uh, I'm also going to upload on YouTube uh, like right after this, uh, so make sure to check that out as well. But yeah, hope you guys had fun watching the stream. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We are going to raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.